Why, hello, everybody. Um, so yeah, I figured we're going to play a scary game. I like the idea idea of doing Man of Medan. Um, I somehow managed to avoid, like, all spoilers for it, so this will be interesting. Uh, apparently it's surprisingly easy to avoid spoilers. <laughs> so, yeah, let's let's play up. Let's, let's get into this. Oh, I gotta read this. I gotta read this. <clears throat> About how they're stealing my information, selling it to China. You know how it is. See it right there. This game collects pl <laughs> gameplay information for analytics. Yes, that's what it's for. Totally not to sell it to us later. So I've never played this on mouse and keyboard. Well, I should never. I should say I've never played games that were designed for controller with mouse and keyboard because I'm I'm typically not the best with mouse and keyboard as it is. Hey, Jay Rody, how's it going? Hey, Titan. Uh, so I looked up Pacify. Honestly, it doesn't even look like that. It was that good of a game. It looks really low budget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it honestly doesn't look like it'd be very scary either. So probably not, in all honesty. I might do the Dark Occult, though. But I figured, hey, I got Man of Medan. Might as well play it. I've never played it. Figured might as well do it this time. Now that i finished Alien Isolation, time for, like, a chill horror game. Uh, but I'll look more into it, see if there's different gameplay. Because the gameplay that I saw was old gameplay. So maybe it's improved over time, but it didn't look that good to me. So we'll see. Tired? Hey, uh, yeah, you know, I get it. I know how that feels. Uh, I've been pretty tired, too, but it's mostly because it's so hot. Well, not even hot, just humid in the evening. I don't understand why it's so hot. Like, humid. It's, yeah, it's awful. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, that being said, I'm still going to be doing some horror games. Uh, like, right now, I'm going to be doing this one. Uh, Man of the Dead, don't play alone. No, I want to play alone. Wait, what? I'll play alone. We'll see how this goes. I get to play as everybody now. <laughs> I am in control of this new story. There we go. Theatrical cut. What's this then? Play the alternate path through the story. So, wait, what? <laughs> There's more than one path? Okay. Let's do it. What time is it where I am? It's four o'clock. So today I was downloading this game. It took a long time. I think my internet was just super slow. I've been up since like 11.30. So it, it just took a long time for this to download. And then all of a sudden my internet was fine. So I don't know. Maybe it was because I was uploading YouTube videos at the same time, but that shouldn't affect download. It was strange. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to be streaming hopefully this entire game tonight? I don't know. It's hard to say because I, I have to go to work tomorrow. So that's the, the only shitty part. <laughs> well, man of Medan, I'm man of B. Chris. It's 12 where I am? Oh, damn, that's late. But you you don't have school then, right? I'm hoping I'm not keeping you up if you have school tomorrow. Okay, so this is World War II? No school? Oh, that's good. It looks like this is World War II. At least that's my assumption. Yeah, okay, it is. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Can I pause this? Or do, does it just skip it? Oh, good. It, it actually pauses it. So let's... Audio. Let's... Oh, it's already full? Why is it so quiet? Uh, let me adjust that in OBS then. Because that was really quiet. Uh, I'm an iPhone technician on the on the weekends for now. I used to do that full time, but I don't have to do that anymore, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Uh, yes, I want to save the current settings. I'm curious to see if that'll be loud enough, though. I wish there was a way of testing it. Other than just like, I don't know, <laughs> just like playing and see what happens. But uh, I, I, I moved the OBS thing up slightly, so let's see if that's better. I can always adjust the in-game volume for me. Oh, stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. 
你能搏斗吗，勇士 ？Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. That's a lot of money back then. Gonna find out my future. That's like, that's like. Let's have it. Eighteen bottles of milk. Store for me, Pop. You 对这些牌有疑问吗 ？Ooh, um, say no. Um, I'm curious about this. I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he? Uh, is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Okay, bamboo shoots and a dragon. Um. Ooh. So one is going with your heart as an instinct. The other one, bamboo tile. Has anyone in your family fought in World War Two? Yes, my grandfather on uh, my mom's side. He was a sergeant in the in the military at the time. Um, I never got to meet him. He passed before I was born, but. Yeah, no, it, it, he was one of them. Also, I had somebody fighting on the other side in the Nazis, um, Erwin J. Rommel. I'm part of his family as well, but at least he had a better legacy than some of the Nazis. So, technically, I'm a war baby. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but uh, both sides of my family have had people fought and die in the war. I'm going to go with the bamboo tile. Awesome. Oh, I don't trust this. Alright, uh, press and hold to pick up objects. Use to examine? Like, what does that mean? Oh, oh, like to flip it. Oh, a salmon! Looks like a fish? It may come from any direction. Like a mysterious wind. But when a wind like this may blow, death and doom are sure to follow. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? I mean, you asked for the fortune. It's not like it's going to come in a cookie. Hey, Jesus. Let me Bomb dropped on your granddad's oh, yeah. house? Holy shit. Did he survive? Can you do better than your friend? Maybe. I don't know what the quick time event's going to be yet. Let me know the quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. Lucky it didn't blow up. Oh, even better. <laughs> that means he did survive, right? All right well, oh, man, this is some badass technology for World War II. A boom. A boom. A right, well, uh, boom. Uh, this is... Oh, D. Oh, shit. This is gonna be my quick time events? Oh, crap. This is one hell of a robot. No. I almost fucked it up. Oh, let's go faster. Uh, oh god. Oh no, I missed it! Fuck! I got slapped silly a little bit. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! I messed it up on the last one! Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm glad he survived. We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get used to the fact that the quick times are gonna be on WASD. Uh, I never actually really think about which fingers on which. Cargo hold two. Um, so, so far I have no idea what's about to happen. Is there, like, just gonna be, like, a disease that's spreading? Is that why there's, they're really emphasizing these corpses? Oh, these aren't corpses. What are these? 
You saw this on YouTube? Nice. I, I actually somehow managed to avoid every spoiler, so I figured I own the game and might as well play it. And what, what better way to do it than to play it on stream with all you? Hey, man. Is that the voice actor for, uh, not Arthur Morgan, but the other dude? That sounded like, sounded like him. In my medical opinion, these men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. John Marston, that's it. It sounded like John Marston for a second. Throw the other in the brig and keep Is it supposed to be this quiet for the people, though? Yeah? Maybe they're just trying to emphasize how loud the ship is. But so far, the aesthetic of this thing looks great. And if I heard this is a, a, like a, tri a trilogy of some kind, or some sort of anthology. So I'm very curious. Okay, so are these weapons? They must be bio-weapons, right? Why are they all alone, right? Okay. Doing all Sith is kind of hard. You wait, what? Doing all Sith? Are you talking about Star Wars or this game? Like just being evil? I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, Sith decisions? Oh, like in uh, in Star Wars: The Old Republic. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's it's difficult to always stay on the dark side. So they're giving me more drugs? Okay. Man, the war was dope. <laughs> All they did was give you drugs and you kind of buy them. Okay, so I'm Joe. A <laughs> Joe Mama. Didn't Hitler have the same haircut? Am I in control now? Oh, oh, okay. Uh. Oh, is that my boy? Ah, boy, you're gonna grow up to be a, a good boy. He's got better handwriting than me and he's like a third of my age. That's very disappointing. But then again, they didn't have computers. So I bet he couldn't type for shit. Or I also bet he's probably not alive. So <laughs> I win twice. Oh, what's in here? <laughs> um, okay. <gasps> the 50 cents! And the key. Okay. I'll take that key. Um. Man, the animation on this is dope. I'm guessing the Intel Dawn one is like this, but not as cool. Or just not as good. Can I touch him at all, or...? Uh... Is this like L.A. Noir where I get to examine the body? I mean, he looks like he had a good time. But why was he stuffed in the locker? <laughs> that, I think that's my question, is why was he in the locker of all things? Oh, I think I can leave! Yay! Wait, why did they lock me from the inside? Shouldn't they have locked... Wait, that door... See, that lock seems counterproductive. Uh, Can I turn this way? No, go, go the other way. Look at me. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Look how fucking sketched out he is. <laughs> but it looks so cool. I love it. Oh, I gotta keep the direction going of the direction that I was walking and not the one that goes towards the computer? Oh, this is so weird. Hey, Game Trickster, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Having yourself a great day? Whoa, that's some emotes right there. Nice. Howdy, how you doing? How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. I'm doing pretty good, Game Trickster. I'll just call you Trickster. I've never played this, so I figured that now's the best time. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Is it just me, or does he kind of look like Mr. Beast's best friend? What was his name? Uh, the tall one. 
that always loses. <laughs> Damn it, I can't remember. Just been watching some streams. Nice, nice. Well, welcome, welcome. I always appreciate a new viewer. All right, in that private, wait, in that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to the ship. Brig, 10 days. Approved. Oh yeah, Twitch is amazing. Especially when you get to just talk to people instead of like with YouTube where you have to record it first and then you get to talk to people. This this is way more interactive. It's way better. Oh, ooh, maybe I can figure out the, the code? <laughs> Is that what it wants me to try to figure out? Okay, there's got to be a code somewhere. As we've learned from <laughs> Alien Isolation, codes are typically right next to everything that you need to unlock. Okay. Brig Week 27, Monday. Arthur Miller, private. Petty theft, one day. Brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David... Davis. What a weird name. David Davis. Trespass two days. Brig found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday. PFC. It's the off brand of KFC. Lewis brand. Public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed. Public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Whew. Saturday, Charles Anderson, public intoxication, brawling 10 days, uh, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, private, public intoxication, brawling 10 days, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately. Alright, that's the same shit. There's no codes on that. But where would the code be? What would the code be? Oh, 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 what's this? That is blood. <laughs> that is not a code. Unless it's written in the blood, but I don't think it is. Um, there's got to be something else to interact. Oh, 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 hello. Go in the brig. Get get in the cage. Anything? Stare at the wall a little bit. This is where you belong. You deserve to be caged like an animal. You're a murderer. You killed everybody. Your friends, your family. Everything you've ever loved is gone. I don't know, I guess that's not happening. Uh... I gotta get used to how this controls with mouse and keyboard. It's super, su oh, super, uh, like, slow movement. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Press S in time with the heartbeat. Okay. I don't have a heartbeat yet. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. How did I fuck it up? And yet, I, I, I fucked it up twice on the last thing. How is it that I keep fucking something up on the last thing? What is wrong with me? I'm just gonna go this way real quick. Why? Because I, can, I, I like going the opposite direction. You find shit. You always find something you're not... Oh, wait. Isn't that where it came from? I think it is. Let's go uh, towards the camera. Just keep walking. Nope, never mind. Fuck. I thought for sure there'd be something hidden there. Alright, so far, I don't seem as panicked as I, pro as I probably should be. Can I go this way? No, how about this way? Ooh, ooh, there's something here. What do I... Oh, oh, look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought I got to look through the little peephole. I guess I do not. Disappointing. Alright, let's just keep going. This man has some broad shoulders. I can appreciate that. Ooh. A kid? What was that? Is this gonna be like the grudge? Is that what I'm is that what I'm about to experience is the grudge? I'm gonna have a little boy like pale boy climb climb down some stairs and go Ooh, can I open this? Open? No. But I could probably open this. Right? Maybe? Hey, Charlie, help! Oh. Uh, oh, right at the last second. <laughs> yeah, you said it. 
Fubar and then some. Isn't Fubar fucked up beyond all reason? I could be wrong. I think that's what it means. Okay, wait, can I go back? I think I was supposed to go over here towards where the little boy was. Um, no, I can't. Okay, well, so much for investigating the little boy. <laughs> Is that what the pedophiles say to fucking Chris Hansen? They're like, I was just investigating the little boy. <laughs> I, I didn't want to be with him. It was just investigation. Private oh, investigator. Dead. Another stick? Man, a lot of wind? dead people. Oh, damn it. Bugly. Ooh. He got Last petrified. Look at his hand. Hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. <laughs> did he see the basilisk? What happened to him? What the fuck? Oh, wait. Did somebody go there? Uh, I'm not going to go over there yet. Can I not go this way? Damn, okay. Where's Harry Potter when you need him? To the Chamber of Secrets. This just seems like something where, like, a foot was about to drop, drop down that step and, like, scare me. Use... I guess let's shift? Excuse me. Uh, I guess shift is to go faster. So, uh, uh, yeah, just slightly. Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Brent looks like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. Yes. Almost undoubtedly you are a guy that likes to talk about his feelings. Nope, nope, go that way. Man, he's walking like he's drunk. Oh, <laughs> but that could just be my fault. This seems like a mission from, like, Call of Duty World War II. Oh, the kid's back. Why are there so many kids hey, on this fucking jump. ship? You see that kid over there? Uh... Oh, I am getting grudged. Right? I fucking knew it. I'm getting grudged. Uh, okay. So is this a ghost game? Is that what this is supposed to be? Because like, wasn't Intel Dawn like werewolves and serial killers, and they've so they've decided to go Get full ghost? Here. I don't trust it. If I have to shoot something, I'm not shooting it. Because, I mean, what am I going to do against a ghost? Look at them. It didn't fucking work for them. Oh, yeah. Pick up the knife. That'll save you from the little boy. <laughs> yeah, okay. What is with the weird mist? Is that mist or is that gas? Oh god, the fucking kid again. This game is gonna be revolving around children. Well, Planned Parenthood called. It's time for your late term abortion. You better get over here, little hey. bastards. Come here. He looks relaxed. Oh god, no. Charlie! Wait, how did Charlie die? Wasn't he right next to me a second ago? <laughs> yeah, what am I supposed to do with this kid? It's fucking... It's undead. Look at this thing. Oh, it's gonna stab me. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it. I want to see what happens. Oh. Okay. Well, the mass, the gas makes them go crazy. Oh, okay. I had a feeling that was the case. As soon as I got stabbed by a ghost. So. So if the gas is making them go crazy, so I'm hallucinating this. The other, that was just somebody else that I was seeing that looked like a little boy. So it's another real person that I'm just seeing as somebody different. Okay. Mayday, so should I have Mayday. shot? I probably should have killed the Is kid. Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? 
Hmm. I'm a little surprised it's not restarting. So is this one of those games where I can kill off a character and he's just permanently dead? That thing has four arms. So they're permanently dead. Ooh, I might have to be a little bit more careful with my decisions then. Well, that's annoying. So did I fuck up? Like, it... what the hell's happening? <laughs> Won't you spare me over till another year? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> is that the liquid terminator? Sean Ashmore, that's Iceman. Okay. Interesting cast so far. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the T the T one thousand. Oh shit. Okay, okay. I can appreciate this. I don't know what's happening right now, but okay. Is this just the intro? Decision-based game where if you make a bad decision, you can kill somebody. Oh, fuck me. But a game where instinct isn't necessarily gonna work for me because I have shit instincts. Did you see that hard look at the camera that he did? Nice. That shows how much of a badass you are. Walking at, like, slightly better than Nickelback hard rock. I think I get it. He's... He's like... He's like, um... The Russian guy from Until Dawn. So he's like the therapist that... Where you tell your story to him. So he... He's basically gonna be the, the narrator of this entire, like... Trilogy or anthology or whatever they're doing. Okay. That makes sense. That's why everything's playing in the background. Okay. I mean, it's either that or this is just how he walks to work every day. And if that's the case, he has a very interesting amount of money to spend on these kinds of <laughs> walking intros to his office. Which I don't think is the case. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories. That's what he is. Stories of love and hate. I fucking greed and beauty, life and death. Stories I called such it. as this one. I, I win. This is my round to win. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. Okay. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them fuck <laughs> but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. 
There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. <coughs> what if I want to kill it? We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Ooh, that means I can. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'll have to do two very different things here. Look for everywhere for pictures. Okay. Alright, so... Okay. Well, ain't this a pretty game? Ooh, why would you walk on that dock in bare feet? That's tetanus waiting to happen. Poor decisions. Witty, Brad, Alex's brother, innocent. Okay, well, he won't be when I'm done with him. <laughs> Motivated, Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. <laughs> okay. It's pretty until you all go you crazy and die. Hey, you know what? We that might out, be the most beautiful thing. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Like on a girl? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are so much serious? for witty. Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Uh, if he's innocent, I'm going to make him a little, it's, a little pity boy. It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Maybe I should have said nothing. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Ah, yes, here comes the insecurities. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna go... Brain. Dude, oh, fuck. You know I'm not, like the best around new people whatever just shut up you gotta loosen up oh, come on just say yeah to everything on this trip wait trust me i want you to have a good time interesting okay, well, choice what if somebody asked me to do something stupid like run around naked or something metaphorically i would still say it. yes that'd be funny all right i mean i'd do it <laughs> here. Cool. sorry i'm a little snappy i'm just Insecure. In medical school would be stressful, you know? Uh. Little shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. He's huh? secretly going to kill everybody on this ship. Yep. <laughs> I can see it in his eyes. Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Urkel's ah, going to beat the shit out of all of them. These in and they're sleep. Location. Yeah. Oh, see. Innocent, anxious, witty, truthful. Interesting. What about, uh, what's his name? Where's the other ones? Can I only see him? Um, uh, okay. Ooh, look over here. No, over here. Over here. Oh, I can control his face. Eager. Compassionate. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's what that teaches me. I don't know how that plays a role in this. Am I supposed to care about hey. his feelings? So, uh... Can Why I did they only bring six something? beers? Yeah, what? <laughs> How much of a lightweight uh, are these people? Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. Oh? About finishing med school? No, oh, but God. it's just kind of a Proposing. big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. I don't know what I don't know what the choice is. Uh oh. He is a nerd boy. Fuck. Are you sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. That was probably hey. a bad choice. Okay, so this is Julia. Ah, yeah, there's Iceman. Oh, foolhardy. Oh, he's going to be a fun one to play as. I feel like he's going to be the sassiest of them all. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. In front of both Connie, of the brothers. This is Alex. Hey. 
What's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. Hard cut it's to his Brad, backyard. The All the Hello, corpses bro. are just under the hey. ground. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Missed me. Hey, man. Want to crack a colon with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with me. Uh... TBH, I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. How have I made this guy nerdier Bradley. than I thought I would make Bradley. him? Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Uh. Nah, man. You you really, really don't want to see me. I've made you know, him so nerdy. Oh. <laughs> so yourself. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. <laughs> Not just water virgin. <laughs> like I said, I get seasickness. It's the smell of fish. It gets me every time. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Crust bucket? Definitely not a crust bucket I've ever seen. Hello there. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... She's oddly proportioned. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh... You're selling. I'm buying. Nice pickup line. 10 out of 10. Good job, dude. You really showed her. <laughs> you really showed her how much of a playboy you are. <laughs> oh my god. That was so good. Well played. Well played, Ashberry, or whatever your name was. Why is he so awkward? <laughs> Did I turn him this way? Did I make him too awkward? Oh no. What about over here? That's pretty far out of These the way. These two are gonna fuck. I'm just I thinking about backup right targets now. in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Oh, I can? Hell yeah. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. There we do. I'm gonna go help Conrad. It's a video game. Camera. Time doesn't matter. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. He was talking about our her bra horse is good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no. So, so, the B-29 is a super fortress. Brad, no. <laughs> During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and... were just, like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope. Oh, my God. Sorry, yeah, uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Ooh, fuck. Uh, oh, uh, 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 yeah. Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. <clears throat> I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? 
I am going to do some reading up on B-29s. You get cell signal out there? What the hell? <laughs> How's that there? I can barely get in my apartment. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. <clears throat> hey, maybe you should check on your bro. I don't know what that look was for. Didn't he seem really excited? Uh, am I supposed to be concerned about him? What what happened? <laughs> what did hey, he hey. do? Hi, sweetie. Uh, what's this? Binoculars. Okay. I don't think it might be a way. Oh, look at how veiny his arms are. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, can I look around? Oh, oh. Very slowly. Uh, looking. Uh, around. Holy shit. How slow do you have to move? <laughs> Please, just... Keep looking at the distance. What the fuck is this? Ugh. Well, that was annoying. <laughs> uh, that, that was honestly very stupid. Okay, so nothing over here. I guess I could help her with this, but maybe I should check on the bro. There's a little gap in the tail. Maybe I was ch oh, I'm checking on the wrong brother. Oh, yep, there it is. Gap in the tail. Maybe? Yeah, okay. Whatever. I think I saw it. Ooh, okay. Let's see. What do we got here? Wait, did she literally just leave her driver's license right here? Oop. Wait, what? Why didn't I get to read it? What happened? Wait, huh? Pick that ba pick that shit back up. Bon name Felicite Dubois. 1983, birthday 120 pounds, weight brown. Uh, hair color. The instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designate specialty as sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. Hmm. Okay. Well, I now know all of her personal information, so that's good. It's better than me asking her how much she weighs. That'd be that'd be a big faux pas. Ooh. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> you know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. After I've already turned it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go, go to her. Let's, let's chit chat. You want to you want to talk to me or no? Apparently she she wants nothing to do with me. All right, let's go talk to my little brother. Yo, little bro, howdy. How's it hanging, sport? Man, what is he, my dad? <laughs> Am I his dad? Actually, found the plane. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer, <laughs> and a little web surfing. Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. Well, if there is anything cool down there, I'll nab it for you. Just don't let Captain Killjoy find out. I get Bliss has her rule. But man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. Well, I think that's camera. that's foreshadowing. I'm gonna get myself happen. a little relic. Hmm. Okay, Professor. Any hot tips on what I should be looking for down there? See if you can find anything to help us figure out what their mission was. Well, see you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. Man, these dudes are awkward as fuck. I thought they were having a good conversation, but near the end of that, they just seemed like they were angry with each other. Like, why? <laughs> Tanks are ready when you are. All right, here we go. It's time. Let's have some fun. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that in CO2 a closet that a you picture? normally just oh. exhale into the water, Ooh, and instead maybe I it gets went and totally that. reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 we 
secret beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave. Ashley like funny. gets away and like runs to the back of the ship. Leave me alone, Conrad. No. Oh, uh, I'll take the whatever this is. Wait, what is this? What did I just pick up? Yeah, I just stick. didn't want the. Oh, a bang stick. That about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? Right, On a shark? No. Nope. Go. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm taking this. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Oh man, that was not a that was not a pretty face that she made. That was a hey, hi there. I was programmed to be a monster. That was a face. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to look at that picture. Apparently, I'm just diving right on in. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, there's sharks. Oh, no, there's Drink sharks. So tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. That, that's bad foreshadowing. Yeah. That's cheap. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Not the first time she said that. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Okay. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. It's requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, fuck. Um. Yes. Sure. Why not? I feel like she can handle her liquor. Nerd boy, I think, was very, very much going to throw up if I, if nice I let me drink that one Where'd beer. You get the cash? Uh, uh, I don't know why I would ever say nothing, but it's a long story. Hmm. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Hmm. That's very kind of you to offer. He's trying to get in my pants I suppose for money. We could have that conversation. Here comes a storm. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. She turned it off. <laughs> what is she gonna learn when it's turned off? All right, I turned it off. Weather looks clear. Wait, then. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. What does that mean? Was that a ship that was on my radar? Okay. I'll grab this real quick. Take that back. Wait, is she not supposed to not know that about herself? Ooh, I've already figured it out. Tee hee. Uh, let's go in here. Let's see if I can see that picture. You said it was somewhere near a closet, potentially? Like this thing? Like th th this? Oh. Oh. Okay. I hate this picture. So why do you have it? It's your fucking boat. <laughs> Um, all right, I think that taught me what I needed to know.
Why is she so shiny? Oh. Shroud of Innocence. Oh, wait. Perfume. Hmm. That wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Okay, so I guess I gotta talk to Conrad. Hey, Conrad, I'm coming back up. We can have that drink you wanted. Oh, oh, this control's super weird. <laughs> oh, please go to the thing that's shiny. There we go. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Alright, that was enough. Oh, maybe I could do something with those binoculars. It said I saw a ship, right? Oh, that's cinematic right there. Where was that? Oh, there they are. Uh, it's super cloudy all of a sudden. Where is that ship? I think she said it was this way. Or, try to figure this out. It's positioned. Yeah, so it should be this way if I can go any further, but I can't. Quickly scroll to the other side, please. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep it going. Do you really see no boat? Alright, well then, that radar is really good. It goes pretty damn far. Alright, um... So that's done. That's done. What's over here? There was something else I could interact with. What was... Oh, oh, oh. There it was. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Okay. Well, let's have that drink you, you wanted. Unless I can interact with this. Nope. I guess it's you, big boy. Maybe. Oh, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> There's no more interactions. Can I just jump off? Can I go for, go for a swim? I don't know what to do. Um. Hello back again, to this. Blip. What you doing all the way out here? I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. <laughs> like. Didn't I cover everything? How did I? What did, what did I fuck up? Am I supposed to talk to you at all? Is that what? A, is that what? Oh, maybe it Hi. is. Okay, here. Hey, you okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Why are you having so much issue? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors, and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. Okay. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my... Wow, it like hard cut off of that. Uh-oh. Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. Oh, What's no. What's that about? <laughs> it's usually bad news. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is super bad news. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh ten bucks cover it? Oh no. Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Oh no. Well shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. 
Right, oh, no. You guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. <sighs> if you mess something up in this part, someone can die? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, what I what I saw, what I, what I thought was a, bu a book and, like, a, a perfume. I didn't really see anything over the top. Nothing that I thought would be game-changing, anyway. Could be, though. I gotta get ready for some quick-time events. I know there's gotta be something that's popping up. There's gotta be. It wouldn't be this easy. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. turret. We can get in through there. Oh, it was a room that I opened. Oopsie. <laughs> I, I don't remember a room. Um, I think I opened a closet. Or did I open a room? I think it might have been the... Oh, no, damn it! Fuck! Ah, fuck! I was looking away. <laughs> damn it. Careful. Could be dangerous. Oh, I already fucked something up. <laughs> uh, ladies first? She's gonna get tetanus. She's not okay. She's gonna die now. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? <laughs> I knew it. She's gonna fucking have a heart attack because of this. Damn it. We gotta cut off her leg. Another picture? Oh, I didn't see another picture. I only saw the one with the boat. Oh... Julia, leave What's it. What's that? You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. I may have made a mistake, but that's okay. She's gonna die anyway. <laughs> An octopus! I've seen a lot of anime involving you. I knew that could have been dangerous. Is it just me or does she look like Brie Larson? Did I really miss it? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why is it so fast? Oh. My god. How? Should I just play this with a controller? This is ridiculous. Why is it such fast quick times? The ones in the, the, the tutorial were like, oh, they'll give you a second to figure out what the hell is happening. That was ridiculous. I might have to plug in a controller for this. You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. Uh, sorry, you were right. It was too risky. Fucking stupid. <laughs> God damn it. So this is what I have to deal with? Fine. I think that one that you missed is supposed to show a scene later when you go back on the boat with the people that Conrad threw money at. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, a bullet. I found a secret. All down the fuselage. No, it's all right. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I wouldn't really know what to spoiler. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. All right, well, at least I got that. Damn QTEs are gonna fucking kill me this game. Good God. Touch it. Ugh. Ugh. These whole 
holding something. <gasps> Pick it up. It's his wife. No, wow. keep it. What? <laughs> what are you what doing? What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Uh, okay, I guess we're going in here. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. So I just drop it now? That's it? <laughs> no point in keeping it for any other potential reason? Oh, he's holding a gun. You know what? I'm plugging in the controller. Those QTEs have killed me too many times now. Or, basically, I fucked up too many of them. I think I can just plug in the controller mid-game. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh yeah, I can. Alright, let's see. Let's see how well this goes. Oh, it's been a while since I've used this. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! I think I went my wet suit. Life gives you lemons. <laughs> When life gives you lemons, are you fucking kidding me right now? Okay, I'm just pilot moving everything around. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. There we go. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Oh, this is already playing better. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a bad decision. Why did I do that? Just don't touch anything else, please. Just because the game told me to do it doesn't mean I should have actually done it. happening here. We gotta get out of here now. Ooh, the photo. <gasps> so I still got the photo. Shark? Now there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! You don't have your bang stick. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. But how did you know what color it was? <laughs> or how it looked? You didn't even have your flashlight at it. Alright, well... Let's see if the controller helps me with the QTEs. That was ridiculous. Uh, oh, okay. Proposal. Alex seemed anxious on the dive. Okay. What does this teach me? will tell you you do one thing but you might not need to oh interesting okay i uh what are you doing why are you fidgeting uh i don't know i i wanted to bring something up with you but it's it's not the best time uh yeah that one how do I select oh, it? Oh, you had something to raise? Oh, I just have to yeah. aim at it. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. So I could just I have to let the time run out. Um... Hey, seriously. What's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just get it. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> He's right. He shouldn't We've have said really anything if he was just going to play like this. Like, what the fuck? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Where'd that other come from? Wait, what? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. This way she doesn't go through the weird... What was it called? SIDS? Oh my god, this is 
taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Hey, oh, what? what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. What? Did I do something correct? Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. I mean, who cares? <laughs> they don't have photos of it from beforehand if we delete them. Oh, intermission. So what did I do wrong? If I did do anything wrong, maybe I'm perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. <clears throat> hmm. That's a weird intermission to tell me I'm doing good. Okay. <laughs> I haven't killed anybody yet, so that's a plus. I'm going to try to make sure everybody survives this. I don't think I can, but I'm going to see if everybody can survive this, and then I'm going to try to kill How everybody well next time. Pretty much what you'd expect. Uh, it was insane. Me. It was like traveling excuse through time. Me. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with sounds this kind like of me. phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Ooh, I get to look at the bullet again. Come on, make your move. Make your move, Hanson. Do it. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry. Uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to bear. experience? <laughs> no, that was pretty unbelievable. Something up, you can talk to me, really. I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? I think we've got a long and happy future together. That might I be do. foreshadowing to her really? death. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Ooh. I love you, Alex. I'm going to play into his insecurity and really reassure him. You know where everybody is? I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Well, no, you two were supposed to bang on one of those weird bench things hey, in front of her brother. brother? <laughs> or, or his Fliss? brother. <laughs> Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. He was sure. watching them make out, and he's like, one day, maybe I oh. do. <laughs> Which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens. What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, Fierce, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Where are you? 
Ah, yes, the six beers. Plenty for five people. <laughs> it, the, uh, the amount of beer there is only enough to get maybe one person drunk. All right. Or now two very small here, people drunk. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Oh, oh what's this? Hello, hello. Uh, I'm not doing anything with this? Okay. Oh. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Hmm. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well. Why would they go to jail? I don't understand that. Okay. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Seems a little too dangerous. I'm just gonna leave it on there for everybody to see. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. I was literally right next to you. And he just stepped in the bro. Hey, almost time for barbecue. <laughs> he just That's stepped the inside Sorry, the radio. Distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Uh, somebody gonna bang? Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Can I show this on Twitch? Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. Oh, maybe there was more than six beers. It looked like there was only six. Maybe it's <laughs> 12? No resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? We did find a bullet stuck in the fuselage, but that was about it. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. What the fuck? All right, I'll You're just right. apologize. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. What the hell? It's bad luck. <laughs> you think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Uh... Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical 
and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Yeah, for murders. Just reporting the facts. <laughs> That's why there's always an axe. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. Uh -oh. So the lighthouse keeper <laughs> creeps over to the closet. Poor Alex. Opens the door. <laughs> and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. And it was his. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Gross. Hey, super twist. Nice. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't nice really a twist. Fire. I, I kind of called it. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. <laughs> okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. Isn't there technically no, weather to all the time? standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> It's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders. I man. can subscribe to I'm that website. This website. That'd be a good website. Morgan, buddy. And I'm out. I thought she said the weather was good. All of a sudden there's lightning in the back. She didn't seem concerned about it. Now it's I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand why. Oh. <laughs> it's not just weather. It's awful weather <laughs> although i'd find it quite peaceful if i wasn't in the middle of the ocean oh shit they're back are they fucking assassins Controller helped me out with this way more than the uh, the other thing. It's getting real now. Wait, where's the little brother? Uh, ungag. Why does everybody always act that way? It's not that painful to have duct tape ripped off your face. Julia, you okay? I think so. Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! 
Maybe ungagging was the wrong, wrong thing to do. Uh. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of... Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Untie. Guys, we got to get untied. Like now. <laughs> he missed a sitting target. Oh, fuck <laughs> oh. I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Oh no, am I gonna have to dodge another hit? Is he just that used to getting hit? Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Hey, he's angry. What do you fuckers want? Remember this scene? Man, this is a, an intense scene right now. Like, damn. Be on your best behavior, little man. Get off! Get off me! <clears throat> so that's where the brother is. He bruised up real quick. Jesus. Wait, oh no. Wait, no! Uh. Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Oh, why'd you give it away so easily? Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. See my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Wait, why are they locked into this room? <laughs> Can't they just get out? The, the lock shouldn't hands. be on the other side. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. They, but they saw your okay. hands. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> the curator? Fuck. Motherfuckers. What's he doing back there? <laughs> Why is the T-1000 in the background? Hey. Something's hey. about to happen. Are you okay? What'd they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Oh. 
Who holds scissors like that? <laughs> what is happening? Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Oh, so this would have been, if we didn't decompress, I would have been in the room being like, <sighs> okay, so I did it right. Yes. Okay. I'm good. So it's 800 Eight kilometers away. Oh, wait, eight away. miles. Whoops. <laughs> 800 kilometers. Yeah. I'm at eight. Speed boat. Oh, whoops. Guy, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Mm. Optimistic. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys. This seems like a bad idea. Conrad. I think just I might have just killed Conrad. Stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Uh oh. It's a QTE. One, uh oh. Two. I thought he said one, two, three, and then I hit it on three. Oh god, here we go. If I do this right, Conrad can live? Oh. Grab knife. I really hope this was the right choice. Drop it, Buster. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. Fuck. Take the gun. <clears throat> Shit. This is a bad choice. I should've went for the boat. <laughs> Fuck. Bring them downstairs. Ugh. I knew that was gonna happen. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Oh no. Oh damn it. I shouldn't have gone with the knife. Oh, if I went to the boat I could have been shot? Well then this works out. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Oh damn it. <laughs> Come on! Alright, so I guess technically I did it right because Conrad is alive. Just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. 
Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain, and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Um... I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us up! Yeah, yeah, so... What a cork in it. Oh, boy. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Well, at least I gave her a chance to put on pants. Find out Maybe this is a little bit more Twitch friendly. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. I think that I think I did it all right. I think that that was the best choice. I really hope it was. Oh, whoops! Everything's better when we have each other around. You get that? Don't you? I technically owe him my life. Ooh. <laughs> this looks like a fucked up storm. Okay. Wait! Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Help, help him. aren't very good at being kidnappers or Man, ransom holders or ho I, don't, I don't understand what they're trying to do Brad? is he hiding somewhere yeah say it louder why don't Brad you Brad is under the bunk bed oh yeah did you really want to say that right next to them Conrad you fucking idiot okay keep a lid on it it could be our ticket out Brad stays hidden better off down there than with these psychos oh yeah he could get killed down there. No, he couldn't. He'll be fine. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. He'll be fine. Uh, excuse me? Isn't that... Oh, it's World War II ship. Okay. This has to be a ghost ship now, right? Like, is that... Everyone's still alive. He seems surprised. Things could have been quite different. <laughs> Am I accidentally getting everybody to survive? This is weird to me. <laughs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? 
Am I allowed to say no? Um. Nope, I'm not. You're going it alone. Independent, admirable, possibly foolish. I wanna. I will, I'm gonna go at this <laughs> completely blind. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Ah, as you are an alcoholic. It's good to know. Anybody who has to hide their liquor in a book Probably has an issue. <laughs> Oh my god, you know you've got a problem when you hide things in books. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever hide anything in a book unless it's a gun or money or both. La Maybe porte, cocaine. La nice. I'm kidding, I don't do drugs. I, I smoke the occasional bud of weed though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we found a spooky ship. Let's go into the spooky ship. That's what we want. <laughs> Oh my Junior. god, he's shredded. <laughs> <clears throat> Why would you do this? Oh god, none of them have shoes either. Oh, this is tetanus waiting to happen. Somebody's getting an infection. Is that dynamite? What is that? Excuse me. Go. <laughs> Why? Why do you want to go onto the ship? Why do none of you have shoes? <laughs> what is happening? The scariest part about this game is the lack of shoes. That's the part that gets me. Excuse me. And I've got hiccups. Man, I'm a burby boy. Nope. No thanks. <clears throat> Go on. Keep moving. Who am I in control of? Get back. Whoops. I guess I'm in control of Conrad. Stay no! Back. Damn it! Alright, directions. Go left. There we go. So why are we going here? If it's a fucking cemetery. Ugh. Their poor feet. Well, one of them's gonna step on a nail. It, it, it's gotta happen, right? This whole place is a floating death trap. I mean, yeah. And guess what? You're voluntarily staying on it. You could easily push one of these dudes over. Not the bracelet. What the hell did I even get hooked on? Oh boy. Oh. Oh. A corpse. Can I go back and see the corpse? No, because that that asshole's in the way. Ooh. I did not sign up for a trip to Do you home. dare look death in the eye? Now Maybe showing in the mess hall. Yeah, I totally would. The mask of evil. Nice. Ooh, a cross. Can I, can I touch it? Can I... Do I just have to stare at it in the foreground? Alright. <clears throat> oh, 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 cool. What's this? Okay. I didn't really tell me anything other than Miller. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Oh, the floor is not even like fully flat. There's so much shit everywhere. How much is this game? I think it was forty dollars when I bought it. I've had it for a little while. Might be less by now. Oh my god. He has shoes. At least he was smart and put some on. <laughs> what the hell? I 
Somebody else is missing their shoes. <laughs> You're about to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Nice. I don't know why we're going into this room, but here we go. Fucking hell. Oh, we're locked in now. <laughs> hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> he actually gave him a light. Nice. Ah, oh, and a lantern. Do you think it's gonna work? It fucking worked. Wow. 80 years later, the thing's still going. Is this fucking place? They were on vacation, little did they know. Yeah, no kidding. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. Hmm. Maybe the Manchurian gold is the thing that around. spread the gas. We need a plan. I don't know. We're not it was exactly booby trapped in the or some shit. Position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, say man, this. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. I said the it same thing. Work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. Why are my frames randomly dropping? What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. <laughs> I forgot about this. My controller's derpy. Uh, you know what? I'll just go to medium. See if that changes it. No, 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 no. Medium. Back. Yes. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't even look like things change. Uh. So, okay. What exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. Pretend? Well, <laughs> doesn't really it really need to. Makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. No, it, like, it, it's weird because it's like sometimes I the 60 frames that, is still uh, on 60 frames and it looks I like there's a little latency, but I noticed that it dropped to like 57 and it was like a little clunky, so I was I like, oh, okay, I'll just change the, the quality a little bit, see if it fixes it. And it looks like it did. the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever, but I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so... But just yeah. apologize, you ass. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. That's fair. Cool. Cool. <laughs> A newspaper. From back then? What happened here? Read it. Gangland Ling of 1947 archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hods Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the. Oh shit! That that's what they that's what they have on the ship. Should we expect an itemized bill? Whatever this is writing about, it, that's what's here. Extras. Yeah. Kidnapping. 750 a.m. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to stupid bickering. Ooh, found a bed. <laughs> How eventful. Hey, look what I, I found over here. No legs, I'm not behind. Hey, that's even better. <laughs> I, I'm still getting used to the fact that I can do my streams in 1080p now, and not have to worry about everybody, um, or not have to worry about quality because everybody can choose what they want to watch oh, it in now. Glasses. I could be Harry real, Potter. Real creepy. Those are really tiny glasses. <laughs> Look how small they are. <laughs> oh, little derp, little derp glasses. So, uh, I wonder if this is the mess hall or if this is supposed to be like a doctor's quarters. I don't know. 
I'm getting some like doctory vibes. Do you think this ship was? Ooh. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Great. Uh, Miss J. Rivera. Hi, baby Bold doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave really with scared. the guys. Had a few beers, but don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. Ooh. <laughs> How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel hope uh, or I feel helpless being so far away, and I want to keep you safe. Oh, there's more. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe. Or, yeah, to keep me safe too. I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic. If we can't, if we, and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Love you so much, Miller. Oh, we saw his uh, prison thing. If it did, you, <laughs> you may get cancer. Wait, what? Uh, man, it does not say try on. It, if it did, you may get cancer. Might get cancer. Say try on. Try on what? Wait, what did I say? <laughs> what did I do there? Oh, oh, for the glasses. Right. Any okay. luck? Here we go. I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Yes, if all three of us just stare at him, then maybe, just maybe, it'll open magically. Ah, they need to put on the Harry they Potter glasses. Bend open and get out of here. And then they could be like, Oh, 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 we don't Depend know where I bet like this is going. I think we just gotta find out. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. The hell kind of distraction am I going to cause? Hey! Yeah, you, Long John Silver and shit, but what are you guys doing out there? Maybe I should have barricaded it. and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces! Yeah, no, you, I'm going to rip your pirate parents off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow-colored stew! Hey, hey. I'm warning you, I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming out? Oh god, the clown's gonna come? <laughs> I sure don't want that. Hey! Can you hear me? I I'm talking to you! Hello? Hurry up! Perfect. That was awesome. I can't believe that actually worked. Are we safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Yeah, that'll work. Ooh, ooh la la. I love with the demo plays. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Okay, now how much of this can I actually explore? Like, I, oh, I can go in here. What is this going to be? Uh, whoa, okay. Extra guard duty regulations due to the special security precautions on this mission. Additional procedures might must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments up to and including court-martial by order of captain ford guys nobody is allowed into 3a seriously nobody 3a okay so we got to keep that in mind that number is gonna uh, come in handy i'm sure down the road nope nope go the other way go the other way turn around there you go <laughs> you got this conrad i know you've had a few beers but we also know that you've had more than a few beers in your life Oh, I can go in here. Okay. Now the question is, is what's in here for me to look at? Oh, oh, oh. Man. How all this shit survived is beyond me. 
Unless this whole ship's an uh, hallucination, but then that's a really elaborate hallucination. Oh, son of a bitch. First the badger in Until Dawn, now a mouse in this. <sighs> Asshole. Can I look into this now? That's it? Nothing to pick up? Okay. <laughs> I thought, it, I thought there was going to be something slightly more to it than that. Wait, so how have mice been living on this? There's no way the mice have been living here, right? Like, how is that possible? Unless they're feasting on the corpses. I guess that would make sense. It would take centuries for mice to die. I don't know. That seems weird. Oh, oh, uh, uh, ex uh excuse me? Hello? Uh. Uh. Uh, what was that? There was a woman there. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. You're right. <laughs> Something doesn't add up. I just saw the woman from the calendar. Where's the you are here arrow? Okay. That was strange. I have a feeling that's not going to go. Well, I see gas. That's not promising. I might be fucked. I see gas. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw the woman there. But it was like for a split second. Ooh, what's this there? Also, why is it next to the toilet? <laughs> Alright. Uh, Dear Isles, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're gonna see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been alright because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. <laughs> it really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me and there ain't, uh, there ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I'm, I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That's usually, that usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I write again soon, Robert. Spooky. Ooh, not bad. Uh, okay. Is there more stuff over here I can look at? No. He's oddly comfortable walking around with no shoes. I just shoes. can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? You guess is as good as mine. Nope, oh, nothing over here. <sighs> okay, I guess you I gotta go this way. If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no. I didn't oh, hear oh, 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 what was this? He did? Was this... This place is fucking massive. And yeah, you're about to get tetanus. Oh, she has shoes too, so Conrad's the only idiot who didn't put on shoes, or probably bring shoes. Ah, Conrad, you boob. At least you're good at playing the idiot. I appreciate it. Oh, how convenient. Hello, uh, Alex. <laughs> A diary. I must read it. It might have a lot of personal information in it. I mean, or not look in the book at all. Uh, just stare at it. Yeah, that's a book. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That's how you're doing it. June 19th. I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. 
I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. I, June 20th, I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the soldiers, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. June 21st, I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed level, lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff of, in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. June 22nd, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm, which began short, shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a... Oh, a lightning storm. Um, caused a... A lot of electrical arc, uh, arcing, traveling through uh, hoisting cables aloft deck, which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers have developed into uh, have or haven't helped matters. Despite the rough seas, there there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. Interesting. I don't think I read the whole thing. Alright, one more over. Let's see what happens. Maybe I did read it all. Yeah, I did, actually. <laughs> I timed it out perfectly. Perfect, let's put that back down. So electrical storm seems to be the key here, so maybe the electrical storm is what made this thing fucking up here again. Okay, um, I guess we'll just keep walking. Got no choice, let's keep going. Uh, nothing over here. There's so much gas in here though, like, <laughs> you can see it. Oh, oh, wait, what, uh, how do I pick that one up? There we go. What is it? <gasps> it's a tiny skull. I like how you just pick up a rat skull like it's nothing. And you're like, oh, I'll just put it back. Oh, another diary. I will read your story. Tell it to me, sir. The curator doesn't realize how much I care about, like, backstory and collectibles and shit like that. <clears throat> Thursday 12. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with the with a feller with a feller <laughs> i got talking with a feller who had help uh, who had helped load up the ship he told me they put a bunch of coffins on board which isn't so weird maybe but he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right real precise not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt it got me thinking who could it be in those boxes friday the 13th oh, of course it's friday the 13th are you kidding me Booze was a bum loss, Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they went, Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on 6 to check it out. Saturday the 14th, just heard one of the guys say, wait, just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes, gonna find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get, a, get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Ooh. Well, I mean, this was written back in 1947, so I guess I gotta give them a little bit of credit. Or like 1945 or whatever. Yeah, the war was just over, so maybe it was 47. Um, Sunday 15th, it's all off. Wait, ugh, okay. Man, there's a lot of reading in this game. A lot more than I thought there would be for a horror game. But then again, Alien Isolation, I read a bunch too. Sunday 15, it's all off. The guy who's gonna help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc finally thinks... Wait, oh, Doc Finley thinks he's <laughs> some kind of flake, which might be true, but Miller says it's something else, something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher, wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure, but twitcher, isn't that like another thing that's for like meth heads? Uh, Tuesday the 17th, Perez said that the boys made more hooch too bummed out to sneak and try some, but what what else is there to do? 
News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Saturday 21. Last night I was on duty with Wallowitz. Wallowicks? Wallowitz. Well, yeah. And god damn if he didn't creep me out. He got <laughs> spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckon that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes traveling home just like us saps. I sneaked. I sneaked? Isn't it? Snuck? But that makes the stream a stream. Hey, you know what? I gotta try to. I, I gotta go for them collectibles. If I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play, right? Uh, what, where was I? Oh yeah, I, I sneaked. <laughs> uh, I sneaked a look at G and Jesus. There it was, just like the guy on the port had said, all laid out, real nice, old glory over each one. It's if it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He'd make sure we'd all come. Yeah, just leave it at all come. <laughs> all right, nice. Whew. All right, well that was interesting. I mean, it's it's giving a little bit of backstory as to who the 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 potential corpses could be. If it is them, I wonder if they stumbled upon the Manchurian gold and then they just were like infected with some sort of disease and the the, the spreading of the, the body was part of some voodoo shit that was supposed to stop what was happening, but... Ooh, okay, here we go. What's... That man was very buff. <laughs> he was getting beaten. Okay, so I gotta make a choice that isn't gonna get me destroyed by a large man from the UFC. You're on your way to the Davy Jones locker? Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so that's done. There's nothing over there. I guess we just got to keep going. Uh, oh, I could use this phone to call for help. Wait a minute. Is there another way down here? No, it's just misleading me. Damn it. I thought I could turn down there, but nope. Alright, now how do I save Alex? I wouldn't lean on that. It's old. I think I see something moving down there. Turn off your flashlight, you moron. <laughs> Turn off the flashlight. Shh. Everyone quiet. Oh shit, it's gonna quick time me. This man is going to beat my ever-loving ass. I still don't know what that is. Is that the part of the ship that I need in order to get the ship moving? Look, oh, it is. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. He's got a sledgehammer. Hmm. I'm gonna go get it. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. We gotta take the Turn chance. off the flashlight and senses move it like the T-Rex. And Sean is basically Jeff Goldblum. Keep an eye out. I like how she's just willing to like fucking <laughs> Assassin's Creed this thing. How oh my god. I would not do this in bare feet. Oh god. Holy crap. Oh god. Now what? Now what? Ooh. Uh. Get out. Ooh. Pick up the nut and then throw it in a direction. Make a noise. Come here. Um. God damn it! They're taking place. Shut the fuck up, man. Where are the others? Um. Arrête de crier. J'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. I don't like what she is doing. Seems dangerous. Yeah, it ended up being the wrong choice. But hey, what can we do? Don't let him out of your sight. 
Oh, come on. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We should have picked up the distance. nut and then tossed it. Why didn't Why didn't we get that option? That would have made sense. Make a noise in a direction he'd stare at it. She'd have a chance to run. We'd all be out. <sighs> Disappointing. All right, Alex. Let's see what you got going for us. Right, there's got to be stuff over here. Oh, and I'm right. Internal memorandum. What's with the makeshift chapel? Oh, Internal God. memo to all crew. Area Seven C has been converted into uh, to a temporary chapel. Of, bleh, to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section Seven C. Corporal Moore, Chaplain. Copy to QM AMS. Oh, there's got to be more shit in here. What's over here? Ooh, nothing. <laughs> I like how I'm supposed to, like, go after Fliss, but I'm just like, no, 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 I want to read about this place. But if you button mash at the right time, you might save her if anything bad happens. I guess that's true. I could always smack my forehead against the controller and hope for the best. I'm basically just hovering around until I see an A pop up. What was that? You hear that? Maybe we can ask for it. Not funny. Nice, Titanic. <laughs> Good reference there, Conrad. You're losing it, boy. You're losing it. Hmm. Man, this this character's designed better. He actually like looks behind himself just to see if anybody's coming. Ooh, anything over here? Anything at all? No? Alright. There's no way anybody would actually blindly look in this place without checking all their corners. That's just leaving yourself to get murdered by some dude. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Have we? Uh, this is the kitchen. I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. I've never been here. <laughs> nice try, but that's not gonna work on me. Watch there be a badger in here. <laughs> That'll get me. Ah! Jesus. That was a rat. God. And human Alex? remains. What is it? Ugh. See for yourself. <laughs> Man, she's gonna break up with me by the end of this. <laughs> this is probably why I'm single in real life. I'll find a corpse and I'll be like, hey, take a look at this. Looking backwards can be as bad as well in video games. It can be, but I feel like with the way these are designed, it's at least fine. Soup du oh. jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. Delicious. Absolutely tasty. Anything over me? Yeah. I mean, this kitchen is just a smorgasbord of, of corpse meat and rats. And potentially octopus soup. Which honestly doesn't sound that bad. I'd probably eat octopus soup. Ah, oh, the mess place? hall. I'm thinking we gotta go through here. There were people eat their food. How do you not know what this place is? You can tell immediately. We were just in the kitchen right now. Oh, there's a photo. Who's gonna die and how? Is it me? Am I going to die? How am I going to die? Tell me, please. Ooh, Brad got stabbed. <laughs> oh no, Brad! That one was pretty straightforward on what was going to happen to him. It looked like I got my head smacked against the door a couple times from the fucking Hulk. But, I don't know. Brad Brad looks like he's going to get fucking his shit kicked in. <laughs> that could be bad. No, it doesn't look like everything's... Oh, Jesus Christ, what? that noise. What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you... I mean, did you hear anything? I heard the scream and the... Weird, light, loud, loud pitch, I high pitch, like scrape. He was moving in the shadows. Uh, 
This one. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me. Uh, I mean, he didn't, Karen. <laughs> Do you want to talk to my manager? What the fuck was that reaction? All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. She's losing her, her bloody around? mind. We've seen all this before. No, we haven't. Oh, I've Jay. never been here. <laughs> we don't have a lot of options. It's got to be this way. He has not gotten stabbed yet. You can still prevent it. This is true, but I don't know how to prevent it. Okay. I, I, I'm just no, a stabbable this guy. This is working for me. Uh-oh. <gasps> Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? Oh, no. I've read about this. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. We gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? I'm gonna go open the corpses. Am I allowed to open one of them? Maybe? Oh. Hey, okay. we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. I want to see if one of the, the caskets match up with the name of the dude from the, the jungle. Oh, no. Oh, what? There's two people in here. Wait, there's what? Huh? Uh. Wait. Look at this. It's got two heads. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? Why does it have two heads? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave! Oh, re relationship update. Well, Brad, it's gone higher. Julia, it's definitely gone higher. Fliss, it's a little lower. And Conrad's about the same. So it seems to be going pretty good in terms of my, uh, normal relationship. I'm eager, cunning, generous, motivated, a little relaxed, and I don't know what the other one, guarded. Alright, nice. Alright, well let's take a look at these guys. So, okay, one of them had two heads. That one is strapped down still, which worries me. Look so let's see what this one has. Like for a kid or something. Oh my god. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. I want to open it. Yes, maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> let's, open it, let's open it, let's open it, let's open it, let's open it. Aww. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why, hey, why do you have to have, yeah, locked? why would you need a lock well, on a casket? that's one way to end a relationship. Uh, okay. Well, I found one that's not human. That, that's an overall plus. It's a helpful. It doesn't really make me too happy with or well, it doesn't really uh make me uh, hmm. uh oh. what is it <laughs> what? what it's a head seriously are you trying to freak me out oh he, huh? she can't see it this doesn't make me just get out of here? uh feel any more relaxed about this place wait okay so wait now i, I can see inanimate objects as the thing huh Maybe I shouldn't have opened that casket. Maybe that's what's giving me a big case of the heebie-jeebies. Or it's this gas that's literally everywhere. Oh, boy. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. Okay, so... Are they just going to see me bashing my head against the wall? They're not actually going to... For some reason, those journals make me think... You... you uh, make me think they belong to the people you played as in the beginning. Yeah, that's what I, I think Miller was one of those people. What the hell is making that sound? I, I, I was thinking that they belong to those What's people, that? which is interesting. Because it's giving you like a backstory oh. towards what, where they found these corpses in the span. ship. So it's, it's interesting. Actually, yeah, this place is really nice. What happened here? Fuck! Oh. Hey, it, said it, it said the name. This is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. It had two I heads. Can't take it. Am I gonna poke it? Ooh. Oh, what the fuck! Don't it aged it. immediately. Why did you touch it? Um, can I touch it again? <laughs> Will it keep getting older as I touch it? Holy fuck! What is this place? Okay, you're gonna go in there. I'm gonna go over Where here. Oh, this one's Conrad? still connected to the maybe just get in the respirator. Oh, he was in the middle of surgery. Ooh, 
Ooh, that is not a good way to die. Poor bastard. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, that looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck? Can I, okay, let's pick this up first. Oh my god. That corpse in the background. Jesus Christ, it's gonna leap at me. I already know it. Okay. Okay, so this guy Electrocardiogram. had which is pretty If you touch routine, it, the eyes will then, open. Then will I? Will it? Oh god, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta touch this dude. Hashtag nope. I gotta touch it. Looks like he died of fright. You can't. Yeah, he's that. petrified. I couldn't even touch that one. Can I actually not touch this? Come on. Put your hand out there. Poke it a little bit. When you see a dead body, you poke it with a stick. That's that's what that's what you do. Oh, I thought it was doing something. It did not do anything. Ooh. Connie? Connie! I don't think so. I was just having fun. Hey, you know what? It, it could. Connie, what <laughs> I wouldn't be you? surprised if it did. <laughs> oh, so what the hell's this wheel? Is that just a save wheel? Where is Conrad? He must have gone on ahead. Shout if I want. Oh god, she's gonna get us found. How did he go? How did it change? Uh, somehow it got higher with Julia. I I don't understand, but okay. Uh oh. But the hands are so small and dainty. It must be Fliss. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Look at the cute little rat. He's so adorable. Little disease. Where rat. are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you? <laughs> I'm taking you to the captain's quarters. If I'm gonna die here, I'm not gonna die a virgin. <laughs> All right, I guess I gotta keep walking. Fuck. Tell me where we are going, damn it! Couldn't I just fight him? He doesn't seem like he'd be that Oh, he has a gun. <laughs> That's a little different. <laughs> I forgot about the gun. You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? I don't see anything I need to pick up just yet, so this is a promise. Uh, this is promising. Oh. Stop. This is your chance. Hit him in the back of the head. Aw. Okay. <sighs> yeah, can't do anything in there. Anything over here? No? Alright. The gun uh, might have bullets or blanks inside. True, and just because I, I I feel like I feel like she's afraid that she'd be out and unable to fight against him. I feel like she'd be able to kick his ass. Oh! All right, come out. Show yourself. That's just a a hat on a pole. Damn it! Didn't he have a flashlight? How did he not notice that? Is he losing his mind? These fucking places cursed. Okay. I'm gonna pick up that hat that you flew through to the floor. It says Medan. Look at this. S says something Medan. The Spalding Medan. Come the on. fucking Medan. <laughs> the U.S. fucking Medan. What was that? 
was that noise? He's going what slowly and saying, gotta love it. I don't want to hear anything from you. And yet okay. you're fine with this place being cursed. Why don't you just go back off the ship and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> oh, damn it. This is ridiculous. Please, you don't have to do this. Wait, was there something I could read over here? Keep moving. Ugh. Asshole. I'm just trying to read. Get me that edumacation. I want to know more about this place. Uh, it, I mean, honestly, the corpse oh, looked Christ. more scared to see you oh, than it, you did of it. That's exactly what he was I thinking mean, as he died. You die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I really don't no, think I mean, that's how it works. Alright, well, I'm going to go examine this corpse. That's clearly singing the highest uh, note of a queen song. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this You're is starting all about. to play horror games now. But we yeah? gotta keep of moving. course I am. Awesome. What do you mean? Why? Now. Why wouldn't I? I've always played horror games. I've just never played this one. Whew. So far, it's pretty good. Olsen, ma'am, guess what you said. You have a horror game? What's your horror game? Is it just life in general? Oh, we got another photo. Is this gonna tell me how I die? How do I die this time? Wait, hey, what? Are you fucking, really bitch? Really? You take your small dick and walk three steps backwards and let me see how I die. You bastard. He took away my ship. That was my photo. That's a wall, yes. Somebody forgot to take their lithium. I'll go back to that ship photo, I think. No, 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 don't, do uh. Well, he found his hat. Oh, wait, that is where the ship photo is. Uh, all right, how do I die? <laughs> oh. A satanic ritual, I see. Happened to him where... Where you can go back. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, well, I mean, I don't really think I have to go back the way I came. I feel like I just got to go forward, right? I mean, there's an arrow that tells me exactly where to go. It's just over here. Now the question is, is which door do I try? Can I try this door? It doesn't. It clearly does not want me to use this door. So let's go in here. Good effort. Yeah, that's what you want to do on a ship when people are hunting you with guns. You want to say hello. Oh! Okay. Can I go back and look at it again? Oh, it's gone. Wait, what? Alright. I feel like maybe my character might be going insane now. Hmm... The tropes. I've detected a trope. Oh shit, I remember this place. This is where that little kid stabbed me. <laughs> Not a sentence I say very often. I would say something about the photo, but I'm not going to spoil. Hey, go don't don't worry about it. No spoilers. It's all good. I I, I honestly I don't think I need the tips for now, but I, I if I get stuck, then I'll be like, "Hey, can you backseat game me a little bit?" Oh, wait. 
There's a lot I can explore here. Okay, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I fell for the meme. Um... Oh, Jesus. What happened down here? What do you think happened? Everybody's dead. <laughs> Clearly in not happy ways of dying. Can I not look at you? There we go. No, no, no. no. Ugh. Oh, you annoy me sometimes. Pick it up. Yep, there you go. Good. Now flip it. Charles T. Perez. Oh, it's Perez, the one with the shitty liquor. Okay, cool. So we know what happened to him. He, he dead. He real dead. Oh, is this the dude that died because of the shitty liquor? Or what's going on here? I could go in that door, but I'm not going to. I think there's something I can find. I think there's something that can help me in my journeys. But where is that something? So there's one thing you always need to learn about horror games, or horror in general. You find a weapon, and you keep it. And I found me a weapon. And I'm about to fucking keep it. Yes? Yes. <laughs> this is mine. Wait a minute. I feel like that weapon's gonna be used against me. Or maybe, because I have it, it won't be. Hmm, this might be a double-edged sword. Maybe I should put it back. Can I throw it at something? Well, I got the so I got the knife. Um, I'm gonna check over here too. Hmm, a lot of old vehicles. Anything at all over here? Like a pair of shoes my character can wear in the meantime? Oh, what? What was that dude doing? What that little dude? What was that little dude doing there? Just fucking appearing, like... He knew the camera was there. Oh, <laughs> how would he have known that I would have seen him? He wouldn't have. Alright, let's, uh, I guess casually go... Oh, how do I run or walk faster? Oh! Oh, and the door shut. Okay. <laughs> this is so weird. Shit. Oh, it's Brad! He took, like, a nap or something. Shit. Fuck. All right, nerd boy, let's All do right. this. All right, let's go. Buck up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. This is how I talk to myself all the time. Maybe I am the nerd boy. Hmm. I think he's put two and two together. All right, all right. All right, buck up. Buck it up. Buck it up, B-boy. B-boy? It'd be funny if he actually just missed, couldn't swim. That was the end of his story. Holy shit. Ah, yes, as a World War II buff, I'm quite satisfied with what I'm seeing. Oh. Okay, wait. I could go that way. Or, I could not go that way. And instead, I could go check over here real quick. Because my nose is itchy. All right, what do we got going over here? Ooh, looks like we got ourselves some more reading to do. Uh, guard duty. Reed, Miller, Davis, Perez, Griffin, Patterson. He is uh, crossed out O'Neill. Strictly no unauthorized entry to guarded areas. Do not leave post until you are relieved by oncoming watchstander. Nice. Well, at least we know who uh, Miller is. He's he's basically a part of this entire thing. Same with, <laughs> <laughs> Same with Perez. What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of jump scare ass is shit there? was that? Oh, there's a dude this hanging there. <laughs> Look at that dude. Uh, it's nobody gonna comment as to why he's just hanging from the ceiling. All right. Uh, how do I go faster? Could, could you, could you, let, oh, that's not what I want. Can I, can you leg up just a little bit? I just kind of want to 
see what this door has to say because apparently I think I have to go the other way. That's what I'm thinking. Can you speed up at all? <laughs> he seems a little sketch. Like he's a little afraid about what's going to happen here. I should actually look at the button for whatever the hell this is. Controls. Uh, Xbox. Oh boy. Xbox icons. Key bindings. Yes. Walk faster is hold LB. Okay. I would have never guessed that. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, damn it. All that for this? Are you for real? Uh, Alright, let's walk faster. Not run. Let's just gently walk faster. It doesn't even look like he has the stamina to walk faster. This is coming from the man who barely has the stamina to stand up while eating. But hey, there you go. Um, actually, since we're at a little bit of a slow port right here, I'm actually going to go to the washroom and refill my water real quick. I will be right back.
All right, I am back. He does not have stamina because he does not. He has no shoes. That makes sense. Whoops. Okay, let's continue on with where we left off. Honestly, this is the type of game you can't really play and drink at the same time because, you know, like you'll be in the middle of taking a swig of a beer and then all of a sudden you have to hit like A twice or B three times or you gotta control your heartbeat. It's nuts. Um, I don't think I want to go up just yet if you want to turn back around I want to check out the other side first that's a lot of gas uh, like that was an absurd amount of gas what's over here then Cause that's probably the right way to go but then there's also this way next to the hanging corpse <laughs> if I can open this up too that's that's doing something Oh, 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 it's the bracelet. This is Julia's. They were here. Okay. They were here. Can I open this too? Nope, okay. So I was right, it is the other way. Nope. <clears throat> that's okay though, I got the bracelet. That's a, that's a big plus. <gasps> what if I can use that to my advantage? <clears throat> okay, there's got to be a reason I pick up that bracelet. Hmm kept it with me too okay oh yeah I don't know why everybody seems to be all okay with walking up all these rusty things when they pro when they have no shoes they probably have like a bunch of tetanus shots that they took before they came here but still it's 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 risky I sure shit wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. Hmm. I could go in there, but I could also check this door. Hmm. <clears throat> Nothing there. Huh. That doesn't sound promising. Oh boy. How do you like your World War II now? This, <laughs> they watched a gameplay of this. They got so spooked. General Infantry, 14th Division. Okay. <laughs> that They look like how I felt playing Alien Isolation. Am I accidentally going the right way? I never got a notification again. Really? Not again? Damn. Alright. I gotta send out a tweet then. <clears throat> I thought everything was working again. I guess not. Playing some spooky man of the day. Can watch. That's how that's how I sound when I'm tweeting it out. So if you ever wonder what I sound like when I'm tweeting, that that is <laughs> that is the voice you should use in your head. I guess wait, did Discord not do it either? You're kidding me. Almost three hours. Yeah, uh, it's been two hours and 51 minutes. Uh, you can do exclamation mark up, and I think it'll tell you how long I've been up. Oh, that worked. <clears throat> Maybe it's up time? Try up time, one word. See if that fixes it. Oh, hell. Oh, great. Perfect. Wonderful. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's up time. Oh. 
Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is what we want. We wanna we wanna be involved with this. Let's let's just keep going. <laughs> I don't know if the followers one works. But I have 3,300 exactly. Oh, son of a bitch! Fuck this place. Me at the bottom under the subscribe for uh, 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 under the subscribe or gift or gift a sub. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why was? That? <sighs> what do you want this time, strange locker? Oh, it's a gas mask. What? That's not. Oh. Okay. Can I wear said gas mask? Why would it give me that? What am I hearing? Ooh. I don't want to go this way just yet. I don't want to go this way just yet. It seems like that's the right way. I don't want to go the right way. <sighs> yeah, why would he just keep it? Why wouldn't he uh, want to wear it? Is there going to be a face that comes out? Oh, blood. Oh yeah, that's what's going to stop it. Give me a <laughs> that, that's what stops it. Fucking doors. Alright, uh, how do I... How do I wear the mask? Um, okay, so there's eight things the kitchen knife military band with the proposal speedboat the bends okay so i think i did the bends properly ship in the night Ooh, what the f what there's so many things <laughs> why is there so many things okay wait where's the gas mask wait these are all connected they show you how they're connected what oh okay Okay, I guess I don't wear the mask unless it's a quick time event for it. Oh, oh can I look? Is this a photo? Is it going to tell me how I die? No. Is there anything down Mia? No? Okay, this is just a really creepy bathroom then. Great. If I had to go to the bathroom at that time. I I, I mean, with the state of this place, I'd, I'd go on the floor. It wouldn't even matter at that point. Um, they're close. How do you know that? Do you know them based on their screams? Defend our future. Join now. Mm. Uncle Sam wants you to die for your country. Oh boy, here we go. Equipment requisition form, quantity descriptor, one respirator, one filter, budgeted expenditure, yes. Proposed by Private Gordon Young. If rejected, reason for rejection, Private Young already has a gas mask signed out. Ooh. Well, I've got that gas mask. Hey. Ooh, can I smack it? Oh, never mind. It's just that. I was hoping I could smack that little bell, a little ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. More propaganda? Hell yeah. I don't want a butt infection. <laughs> exactly. Mustard horseradish. Mustard gas. Smells like ger geraniums. What? <laughs> oh, smells like garlic. Mustard horseradish. Mustard gas. Well, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> what is that propaganda supposed to be? Okay, so they're probably that way. I want to go in here. See if I can get that filter. I made it. I'm alive. Because if that closed, I wouldn't have been able to go in. Wait, what? Where are you going? Get back in there. <laughs> you crazy bastard. Right, there's got to be something in here I want. Now, where is it? Is this it? Tom, it's your ass if this gets out. See that it's done. Ooh, okay. Uh, ensure the locks are fixed, affixed to caskets as soon as they've been 
located at the water pur purification project facility. The caskets are classified. They must remain locked and under guard at all times. No personnel in your unit should have access. What the fuck? It smells like flowers. Mustard gas smells like flowers? Really? I don't think I want to test that theory. Like, how, <laughs> who's testing that theory that they're like, ah, poison, mm, smells like geraniums, and then they just die. So was that all I came in here for? Was the fact that there's that little note? That doesn't seem right. There's got to be the filter, right? Isn't that why I have the gas mask? Is it so I can get the filter? Is there something over here? Yeah. Nothing over here. Interesting. That seemed like an interesting time spent. <laughs> Oh, I had to do this. Okay. I feel like uh, Brad here needs to work out a little bit. I I should know. I can relate. Okay. It looks like I've only got the one way to go. Alex. Ooh. Julia. Hello. I don't want to move too quickly because then I have to, you know, quick time event. Yeah, well, it said geraniums and it had a flower on it. I thought geraniums were a type of flower. They are, they are. That's why I was like, who tested it out to find out that mustard gas smells like geraniums? <laughs> Unless it's the filter of the gas mask that smells like flowers. <gasps> Another ship. How do I die? Tell me, how do I get stabbed? Who stabs me? <laughs> Okay, a helicopter. I get stabbed by a helicopter. Nice. Or is that how we leave? That doesn't seem right. All of this seems weird. So there's a cult summoning. There's <laughs> there's a, a a gas that has leaked. I have a gas mask. I've got a bracelet. Uh, I've got no shoes. <laughs> Keep that in mind. No shoes whatsoever. Be nice if I could get some of those. His reaction. Ah! <laughs> His mouth movement. That was great. Um, I guess we'll walk down this way first. Or should we go this way? I don't know which way it wants me to go. But based on camera angles, I'm assuming it's this way. Skeletons. Yep. Skeletons. Skeletons? Uh, you having a problem with that? Where'd all the skin go? <laughs> I got a wrench. We can play it, we can hit him like a pinata. Some sort of altercation. Probably with that wrench you're holding. You asked, sir, you asked to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages at the following times with no response. Uh, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. Uh, we were able to pick up indirect messaging traffic until 140 hours. Uh, however, there has been no further incoming messages track at this, uh, at all since this time. It is possible that our radio equipment is faulty. I am investigation, I am investigation and ex- what? Is that a typo? I think that's a typo. I am investigation and expect to be able to report back to you by 0300 hours, Private Cooper. Hey, <laughs> I am, is that what it said? I'm investigating? Did I read it wrong? Did I, I, did, am I, am I, am I, is my brain stupid? Did I fuck it up? No, it says investigation. I am investigation. Look on the right there, it actually does have a typo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shit typo. Against your friends, never know. Oh, true. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. It says investigation. Look right, 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 uh, right look, at, look on the right side in the black box. I'm not actually reading it off the thing. Watch. Okay. See the black box to the right? I, I read it off that just in case I can't quite see it. It actually says, I am investigation. <laughs> On the paper it says investigating. On this it says investigation. 
Uh, yeah, see, I, I don't read it from the paper because I never know if there's going to be like a piece of it that I just can't quite read. So I just use it on there. More immersive? Yeah, that's fair. But I, I was a little surprised that there's a typo here, but not on the main page. Like that, that I found to be quite funny. <laughs> I am investigating is what he meant to say. All right, so I got a wrench. I got a gas mask. I feel like I'm just getting started in Warzone, but I had like no money to go with <laughs> to, to, to drop. So now I've just got no shoes, got a gas mask, got a wrench. I'm ready to go. Who's that? People are screaming Who's at that? me. This Get is away. ridiculous. <laughs> oh, a cage. Uh, you totally couldn't climb over that, could you, Mr. Six Foot Seven Boy? He, he could do it. He's a tall boy. He could jump it, but he doesn't want to because his feet might get hurt. A life jacket. Uh, I think this is everything. I don't think they want me to go this way. Ha, no, no, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. See, this is this is something I would like to do. I would like to go on a haunted adventure. I want to go to an insane asylum. I want to bring Russell with, like an abandoned one, not a real one. Like, or not one that's currently open, but I, I'd want to bring Harrison with me. I'd want to bring Russell with me. We spend the night there at a very haunted, haunted insane asylum and see what happens. I think that'd be great. Because he has glasses and in the legendary book of nerds, people with glasses are weak and are considered to be inferior, inferior species to the human race. Oh no! <laughs> My secret has been let out. What, Alex, whatever will I do? Julia? Yeah, they're in the corpse bag. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> oh, there's the curator. What is happening here? So he doesn't want to jump over. Oh, there goes my wrench. Oop. So he didn't want to jump over that, but he was willing to just fucking parkour the ship down. What's happening here? Wait, what did she see that's pa making her panic so much? <laughs> it does have fun, doesn't it? Uh, can I... Am I supposed to open this? Oh, okay. Inconvenient. Alright, back the way I came. I, sh I should still have my knife. Although it looks like it's gone. Oh! Okay. That was an actual ghost. <clears throat> or she's insane, and that was just a hallucination of a ghost. Oh, another ghost. But a ghost of Brad. <laughs> just another Scooby Dooby ghost. <laughs> Come on here. Yeah, I guess it is a Scooby-Doo moment. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you damn humans and your lack of supernatural pleasantries. Ah, I found a bullet. I can use this. I can flick it at the next guy. <laughs> is that it? I, I Wait, is, there's got to be something I could inspect on it, right? I moved around. The fucking thing gets mad at me for looking at his bullet that he got shot with. No, I guess not. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? I've got some people to kill now. <sighs> okay. Yep, saw that coming a mile away. Yes, that's what you want to do. You want to grab that flashlight. Ooh, you're getting sandwiched. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, at least she... Well, no, she doesn't have shoes. Brad! What interesting website. Was it, uh... Pornhub? The better version... <laughs> the better version of YouTube? Ah, yes. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have said that. T uh, t TOS, TOS. <laughs> oh, this is a nice ship. I see they've decided to wine and dine me before they gangbang me. <laughs> Whoa, that piano is huge! Or she's really tiny. It'd be sick if she just belted out some Beethoven right there. Maybe some Mozart. The piano. I don't know if that was actually the piano in the game or if that was just 
the musical score. <laughs> That's the the only part that confuses me with the piano jump scares is that the fact that there was also violins that played at the same time. <laughs> Kind of takes away from the potential of a piano jump scare. What are you doing? Stop staring at the pillar. Go this way. Yes, very nice. Ghost is playing his jam on the piano. Oh, sweet. A fucking satanic ritual. I love it. Oh, and a pool of blood. It's a lot of blood. Honestly, I gotta say, for, for blood, it sure as shit ain't coagulated very much. She seemed very relaxed at the idea of a blood sacrifice. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. She may be a part of this in more ways than I'm willing to admit. Maybe she is the Satan. Uh, the Satanist. A book. This will tell me. Books are knowledge and knowledge is power. The ghost is playing. Oh, wait, uh, that was the old message. Oh shit, this is an actual Satan book. Okay, Cabal should... <laughs> oh no. Cabal should silently assemble, and no more or fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three females and two male, firstborn, faces obscured with hood. Sigils. <laughs> no, it isn't... No, it is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being. Flock that before the fe festival of Akra Maharabamari. <laughs> Can ritual of Threxia. Th Threskia is performed to went away demons by uh, by means of cabal the pentangle oh man this book is giving me a fucking aneurysm <laughs> the pentangle should be drawn out and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points a lady born of the sea shall be rendered unconscious and played placed at the center of the pentangle oh that's me i'm the lady of the sea it is from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of Saurus, sword in hand, with uh, with all exhaustion exul possible. Uh, it, as is written, uh, we have five stand at the furthest, thir furthermost point. We are yet close enough to touch. Pentagram. Oh boy, here we go. The five starred great power turning 90 degrees to your describe to what? To, your, to describe the u unicursal out the pentangle and his faith sword, uh, sword forward and using rants turn degrees to describe the ocuvernal sigil constitutes the within rever <laughs> with reverence turn to the face turn, uh, turn to face north with oxal my god that hurt my brains oh there's another page <laughs> <laughs> World War II summoning ritual. I wonder who they are summoning. Uh, they're actually re-summoning Hitler, and that's why we were able to play uh, uh, Sniper Elite Zombie Warfare 2 or, or 4 or whatever. They just brought him back for that. The Book of Ricardo Ramirez. That's why I love drawing the pentagram. Some parts are covered by blood, so you can't read them. I know, but that that that's the part that gave me the most, most of an aneurysm. The sword forward, uh, wait, the sword forward and with exulta ex uh, uh, exultation uh, exclaim, the penta the pentangle, why isn't it just called a pen, oh, it's because it's a triangle. Why is it called a pentangle then? It should have, all right, whatever. The pentangle is is sacrificed, page 34. <laughs> Please go to page 34 for your uh, ritual needs. Page 34, each member takes a step inwards and then is still in the stance of, Ram, recite in unison, we are one and so is our lord. <laughs> oh, Saurus, with the sac- am I summoning the demon lord by reading this? Uh, oh, Saurus, with the sacrifice, we ask you to cleanse our aura, to rid us of the demons that plague us. We spill the life of man in your honor that we may ourselves worthy of your trust. Only when the incant elite <laughs> should the five converge upon the- Drawn, each member should in turn to rid the unfortunate body of its unclean blood, skull digger blood tree. <laughs> the body should be transferred to a casket of thick wood, with head assembled to buy, uh, buy your flock at any time as a reminder of the evil that can infect the unweary and the power of Soros to keep all safe. As And so the ritual, and no longer should spirits. The festival may... <laughs> Is this why there was that weird like casket that had two heads in it? Oh, that hurt my brain trying to read that. Just throwing that out there. Woo! Brain time. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. That was interesting. <sighs> I need to do this. Read slow. <laughs> oh, man. That was intense. 
I've now learned how to summon Saurus. Oh, isn't Saurus from, uh, what's it, Kingdom Hearts? Alright, well, there's, uh, I guess that's a change room, or is that a place where you just coke your nose or whatever? I like to say coke your nose instead of do drugs, because coke your nose just sounds more, uh, privileged. Ah, yes, darling, I'm just gonna go coke my nose. I'll be back in a moment for the appetizers. <laughs> Sir, you know you're at a McDonald's, right? Exactly. I'm going to do heroin in the back room. <laughs> All right, well, I've I've essentially learned that there's nothing in here. Do I have to, like, hmm, where do I go then? Is it this way? <gasps> a door that I can't seem to access. I guess I'm not going. Oh, I spent too long here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now she's going to summon the demon lord. Oh, the curator's back. I feel like the curator is the biggest problem here. Ah, I see. You'd like me to take that as a stair. Oh. Uh oh. Why, hello there. I see you've read my book. I'm here to perform the ritual. We need you and your friends here. I also am a magic man who knows the force. Poof. Oof. I'm actually going to leave this last one because I feel like it's not a bad man. Oh, it's death. He evaporated. Okay. So why did the, the why did Death know how to do uh, Qui Gon Jinn's stance? Like you saw him, he was standing there with his sword in his hand out, and he was like, ah, on guard. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to know how to swim? She didn't even hit her head. Oh, she's back in the ship. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man. This isn't good for me. How does one wake up from this situation? I guess it's by swimming forward and hoping for the best. Hope for the best. <gasps> no! He's so relaxed. He is going on just, but just dead. That's true, he is dead. That's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Alright, well that wait, why is his hands white? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> did I spook you? It's me! I'm two people! She's gonna have quite the gangbang in a moment. Uh Wait, the arm tattoo. Do it! Do it! It's the arm tattoos. Yes! I win this round, fuck nuts. I think. <laughs> yeah, our relationship is going quite well. <laughs> So, did we just kill Junior? <laughs> Who did we just murder? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a hand. Come up. What? You... You okay? Thanks. I could have drowned. I'm sorry, but you did the right thing. It was him or us. Fuck! <laughs> He's back! <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> oh. oh, he looks so weird with my face. Or his face. Come 
Let's go! <laughs> I, mean, I could just fight him. He's he's definitely not me. <laughs> I could hold him underwater for a bit. But I did kill his son. Okay. You wanted to surprise me with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. Who are you talking I mean, to? Funny. I think it's funny, but. I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's what you get. You get these guys that are not cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug. Did he go and coke his nose guys. when I wasn't watching? What happened here? I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. <laughs> got a sexy ghost down Ooh, and it's denting them. Alex! Julia! Alright, well, I'm gonna have some Pepsi before I start running into this nightmare. <laughs> Alright. This is going real well. I'm liking this. Oh. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm also about 90% sure that I'm the only one streaming this at the moment, <laughs> now that I think about it. I'm kind of curious to see if that's the case. Oh, I'm not the only one. I thought I was, but I'm not. Interesting. Oh, there's actually quite a few people doing this. Nice. <clears throat> okay, let's keep it going. Alright, we got Pepsi in our system. Let's go. That's what you want to do. You want to casually walk away. It's something... It's... Something is fucking... I hear a radio, or people talking, one of the two. No, it's a radio. It's reminding me very much of Bioshock. Hmm. Ooh, another picture. How do I die? Oh. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> but you might be the only one with everyone alive. I guess uh, that could be the case. Let's not. Let's hope to, to not jinx it yet. Okay, so the distributor cap will break at some point. That's disappointing. Should I smash it? Isn't that our boat? Duke. Wait, what? How is how is our boat here? Ooh. No, that's not possible. Oh. <laughs> And now it's going to turn into a lovely lady, or it's going to spell out the words, you're dead. <laughs> uh. Alright, well, so far so good. Uh, what's this? Mission, man overboard, ordered full stop and anchor. I received reports of a man overboard. Ensure that all units under your command are notified and prepared to assist in the search and recovery of the casualty. William P. Ford. Actually, I want to see if there's anything on the back of it. There usually is. See to this, Griffin, is what it says there. This was no accident. I saw him jump. All right, well, that's good to know. At least we saw him jump. It was his choice. He's fine. We can leave him there. Man's not overboard. Oh, another memo. <laughs> Damn, they have a lot of memos in this place. 
To all officers, Captain Ford has ordered, ordered that this consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officer found drunk while on or off duty will face court martial. Your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. This war is over. This is bullshit. That's how I read that. Alabama man wants his alcohol. Alabama man. The only thing he beats is his wife. Alabama man. Crime is not important to him. It's just, it's just fucking with me. That's it. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, it's, Ooh, just, phone. it's just fucking with me, okay? <laughs> Why does oh. nobody ever try the fucking phones? Like, back in the day here, they didn't run on, like, fucking uh, bills or whatever. They weren't paying for those. They were just winding them up and away they go. Ooh, a candlestick in the dinning room. It's like Clue. I, I called it a dinning room, by the way. <laughs> I meant to say dining room. <laughs> Why did I pick this up? I gotta get those curls in. Uh, one, two, three, four. You don't get looking like this fuckboy by not lifting everything you see. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Apparently shaking it around a little bit turns it into quite the magical item. <laughs> now, if only babies could be shaken like that and they turn into a flying magical baby. Let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five. Well, there was a candle on it at some point, <laughs> wasn't there? I thought there was a candle on it. <laughs> so why would the base of it be warm? Does this man not knoweth what science be? Oh, if Ian McGregor. Knew what the hell was going on in this place? It would have been a cat. Okay, that was ten out of ten information right there. I appreciate your uh, your ten cents, Conrad. You really proved how you're the smartest one on this mission, and how everybody should around you should be happy to even know who you are. Badger. Badger time. Nope. Ugh, is this gonna fill up with blood again, or is it just gonna fill up with whiskey? Probably not much of a practice when you preach kind of guy. Here it comes. Uh, okay. I mean, at that point, I'd, I'd be like, okay, there's no way this is just rough waters. <laughs> yeah, I think something's happening. I found a, a bottle that blood filled up with. I will say they had some nice toilets for back in the 40s on ships. Am I seeing him through a wall? Nice camera angle, my dude. Oh, is that my reflection? Ooh, I look ghostly. All right, let's yeah, go to the quarters. I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? Yep. I should. But should I? Yes, because the ghost is right behind you, licking yeah, its lips. I should. As it's about to rusty trombone you. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> I guess you're not getting in there. Well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch open? Um, you kick it. I gotta find something to pry the door open. Uh, candlestick. <laughs> it's gotta be the candlestick. Where's that candlestick? It's a puzzle game, yay! <laughs> got some half to paste. Enough for the door. I knew it! I'm gonna beat this fucking door open. Oh god. Hey! Ooh, a hello there! Just kiss her. <laughs> She'll be fine if you kiss her. Ah. And she's magic. <laughs> He's never gonna sleep with a woman again. Or man at that point. Oh god. I survived? Holy shit, okay. Oh, 
My god. I'm dealing with a rust monster. What the fuck is this? Oh! Eugenia Cooney! God, <laughs> please stop with the quick time events. Ooh. Just remember, she's a rust monster. She could just fly up to you. <sighs> uh, run. Most gameplay I've had in a little bit right now. I hear Conrad. Wait, is that. Is that. Felicity or whatever her name is? Wait a minute. Am I hallucinating that she's the one? I heard her call out the name twice. I'm gonna try something, because I don't really care if Conrad lives or dies. I'm gonna confront. It's Brad? Dude, come on! It's me! It's Brad! What? But I didn't hear his voice calling me. What are you doing? Okay, I had a feeling that they were hallucinating that all the ghosts and shit were people they knew. But this could go bad. Because, like, what if it's a bad guy? Bad guy's gonna hallucinate and try to kill- Oh, fuck. This, this adds layers. So then who was death? And if I continued stabbing at him, would he have actually died? Who would it have been? I don't He's know. Here. I'm confused. What's the matter, Creepo? Don't show up to me anymore. Okay. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. Give me some quick times here. Ah, the curator. What does this mean? The three were over? Jump. Fight back. Everybody's alive. Come on, 
We gotta get somewhere safe. Switching to controller was definitely the way to go. I didn't fuck up anything yet. <laughs> Jesus, this game. It's good though. I like it. Very tense. Wait, who the hell's that? Oh, okay, that, that's the girlfriend. She looked different. <laughs> she looked like she had red hair. Like, who the fuck did we swap out for? <laughs> fuck? Okay. So we're safe for now? I, I, okay. <laughs> how, how do you like what I'm doing, curator? Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? Probably. You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let <clears throat> me help you out. Give you a little hint. Please don't. Oh, wait, no, shit, I wanted to go to the other one. Ugh. Can't make up your mind. A pity. And dangerous. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Ooh, nice trick. I hope that helps. I mean, well, aren't you excited I kind of assumed to find it out did. what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy. Tragedy? Who did Go I kill? On. Everybody's alive. Back to it. Speak soon. Unless they meant the fact that I killed that one dude. In which case, fuck him. Hey, uh, is everything okay? What are you talking about? Back in the cargo hold, you, you know, you, you ran out screaming your head off. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Yeah. Perfect. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy, like dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just like up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia. I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Hmm. <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real, and this is one, and we're totally on it, and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked. I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. <clears throat> what do you think actually happened to this place? A goddamn mystery box is what it is. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. Yep, okay. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? I can't shake the feeling we're in one big floating coffin. So what's with the bodies? They come with the ship? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. 
That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Hmm. Looks like it works to me, but that means I get to summon a helicopter. But does is that all, like, a hallucination or what? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Damn, this game is beautiful. It looks so nice. Not exactly the place where we are, but in general, it looks nice. Ooh, that was just some big bullets. I know those it sounds crazy, 50 cows but if you ask maybe me. it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Anti-aircraft shells, that would do it. That would explain the large caliber bullet that we found. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a beer. Let's make things more interesting. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just cracked open a nice cold Widowmaker. Easily the nicest of the beers. Ooh, nice and green black. Ooh, yeah. Just reminds me of Monster. A nice solid IPA. All right, so that should make this game more interesting. I don't know how long this game is, but I'm assuming for 40 bucks. <clears throat> I guess I'm about halfway through. If not, maybe a little bit more. 
It's really hard to say. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, I hate when it does the camera change-ups. Um, okay. Not bad, not bad. Hey, Stressy Syndrome, how's it going? <laughs> Stress up. Syndrome, how's it going? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. <clears throat> Please be the badger. Come on, badger. Oh, another corpse. Oh, a ripped up gas mask. Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone <laughs> in the vicinity. Hold your breath. At how do you? How are you supposed to do both? Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling around or so, so, yeah, shoulder sling over your right arm or right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around the uh, around your waist. Remove the, your helmet, pull the mask up to your face with both hands, pull, put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas, close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. What? <laughs> Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose for, uh, or hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug. Then repeat the process above until the mask crumples to ensure there are no leaks. Huh. Have been Let go of the hose. You may now though. breathe as you normally would. Replace any headwear and close the carrier bag. You may now remove your mask only when you are told. It is safe and instructed to do so. Prize, prize the mask open. Prize? Prize the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve, breathing out sharply, and pushing any potential trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask and flexible corrugated hose into the carrier bag um, as you found it. You may remove the carrier if it is no longer required by unfastening the belt and, sh uh, and shoulder sling. Gas masks will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. Okay, interesting. So does that mean I get to use a gas mask? Is, is that the whole point of this? Because if it is, I would like to use that one that Brad found, but is for some reason missing. <laughs> that could be why we're not hallucinating out here, is because there's no gas out here. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a look. I'll pull you up. Is it just gonna be us two then? Oh no, we're all climbing up, okay. Interesting. I feel bad for whoever doesn't have the sh uh, shoes here. What's the story in this game? So far, it's... We were... Uh, I guess treasure hunting or relic hunting. We got captured by... I guess... Rans or kidnappers or ransomers or whatever. They brought us to this ghost ship. And this ghost ship has a bunch of gas that makes people hallucinate and murder each other. So we gotta figure out how to stop it. <laughs> and I make choices that'll either kill us or make us all survive. Or basically ruin our chances of, I, I don't know, of survival. So essentially the story is pretty good. It's a nice horror game. A good way to relax. Man, they're all positioned here like they're about to go to war. I, I think that's everything. Let's let's just go in. in. They're all positioned at the, the corners for some reason. 
Over here. Got a way through here. And most of the gameplay is based on quick time events. So it's basically just Until Dawn, but with a different story and reskin. Uh, okay. Let's go in here. This looks like the place I was with Connor. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Huh. Last log a swell storm. from the we waves 20 feet. No damage reported. PM weather continues to deteriorate as does forecast. Crew bearing up. AM wind at storm force gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with severe several lightning strikes hitting OM because, but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water, but it is under control. Navigator port seed bad depth readable. Okay. Hmm. So I probably have to leave through here. But I don't want to trigger anything just yet. So this is the... So what exactly is this place? This is the... This is the, the control center. So I guess this is where the captain held, holds up? I don't know. Yeah? Oh! A forewarning. Here we go. Who's gonna die and how? Uh, so he shoots himself in the head. Okay. That's fine with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Unless it's him doing a murder-suicide, in which case... No? Okay, so I can't go that way. Let's try the other door. See if I can go that way. If I can't, then I know I only have the one option. Nothing else seems to be lighting up. Everybody's positioned in here like they're about to force me to go one direction and not leave. Can I open this? Yeah, okay. So it is only the one way to go. Alright, before we continue, more beer. Oh. Oof. Hiccups. Ugh. Good beer, though. Nothing over here? Okay. Well, I guess we're just going this one way. You find the radio yet? Oh, hello. Why are you in here? <laughs> no, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. Oh, what's this? It's our world though. Something's wrong here. Planned route. If you were actual San Francisco, route. So where did they go? Crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? But why, yeah, why would they go to the middle of the ocean? So they were there, and then they just veered off. I don't think they actually... Hmm. I don't think this was planned out. Uh, maybe they were going to South America to defect? Could be the case. Hmm. Yeah, maybe they were trying to get the gold. They, they, they had the people with the curse, and they were going to sell it, become terrorists. It all makes sense. Uh, this will probably have the confession letter right here. This side's blank, but the other side will uh, say it all. Ship was blown uh, course, United States Department of Wait, bad. what did I get for a dollar? He told me his they secrets. Couldn't establish a position. Heavy storm blown off course. Report of hold two flooded. Excessive lightning strikes. Adrift in shallow waters. Location unknown. Seabed depth believed uncharted. Unable to establish depth. Search for crew members overboard commenced. Search called off. Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. Oh, so they were blown off course. So that's what happened. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so they were trying to sabotage the, the country. Or not the country, but the... They weren't trying to become terrorists of, or of whatever kind they were. This was all an accident, I see. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker <clears throat> bit it right in the middle of his message. Made a call broadcast, radio contact, uh, intermi intermittent, attempted Morse SOS, many crew dead. Mm, I die. <laughs> Whoa. Why did he write, I die? Especially with such nice cursive. Wait, 
Take a look. There we go. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power, I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... Come on, this is an emergency! Please! Maybe that's my voice. We're on an old freighter. Our location is 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please come in. Hmm. I wonder if I fucked this up. Maybe I was supposed to repeat the other thing twice. Yo, hmm. guys. Check it out. What are they checking out exactly? This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? I got, I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, oh, what? No. Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Oh man, I should have just let Brad go. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Oh, fuck you, Fliss. Case closed. <laughs> oh, right. she, yeah, she looked like she could Julia, really Julia. handle it. She looked scared shitless. <laughs> Unbelievable. The, uh, the amount of stupidity. <laughs> In situations like this. Why are you all so stupid? Any broken bones? Everything still work? You guys okay down there? I'm okay. So, what's next? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Copy that. We'll wait up here by the radio. Here. A lighter? Uh. Okay. Oh, cool. That'll work. Hey. Just explodes. After you. Oh, great. Uh, here we go. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. All right, what's in here? Ooh. So it looks like there was some sort of in that private and this Charlie went to the brig. In that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a U of the US Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men would uh, were returned to the ship. Oh wait, there might be a back 
back side of this. It might give me clues. Ten day sentence. Oh wait, I saw this. It's been a big thing. How did I when did I see this? I saw this before. When did I see it? Who did I see it with? Was it Conrad? No. When did I see this shit? I've read that before. I could have sworn I did. Oh, whoa, okay. Uh, medical officer's report. <clears throat> Minutes of meeting between Scientist X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer, with Sergeant Peter Wood observing, and mm, X for meeting with our team and says we are, can mutually learn. For the same thing, the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act limited by the Geneva Convention or Geneva, Geneva Protocol have experiments we are unable to hmm oops there's probably another side to it no 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 uh, I gotta stop doing that without checking the other side go back in there oh yeah there is Describes an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecular uh, molecule crystal structure hallucinogens codename Manchurian gold Chemical munitions battle. It was even relatively minor. Observed to trigger significant hallucinations. Men highly convincing. Subjects seeing and hearing things that really were not there even. The danger was manifold in, in its intensity. So it's fucking called Manchurian gold. Oh my god. <laughs> I should have seen that coming anyway. But that, that just seals it. I was... Uh, like th this is all the backstory to it. It was it was all experiments done by the United States military. So these fuckheads are doing this shit. God damn it. Brig week twenty seven Monday. Arthur Miller petty theft. Wait a minute. I read that, but the last time I was here, that safe was closed. Joe was in the sick bay. Wait a minute. I I have been here. That was closed before though. Wait. Something's not right. Get out of the way. What is happening? Something's not right here. So why is that open now? Why is it missing the door? It was the door an hallucination? I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. We're gonna get out of here, Julia. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, this is going to be the kid. Okay. We saw this with what's his name? Might have been the son of someone on board. Yeah, it sure shit was. Does that mean we're going to find these two? Okay, there's the doctor that we let... Wait, if we didn't open the locker, would he be on the floor there? Or do we have to open the locker because we needed the key? All right, what does this say? Patient John Patterson, private. Rowlett, Texas, February 24th, 1922. Enlisted or appointed Garland, Texas. Date March 2nd, 1941. Total service, Army, three years, five months. History of case, diagnosis, mild neurosis. Disability is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of duty. Or dute. Uh, <laughs> ex existed prior to establishment? No. Uh, present condition, fit for service? Uh, probable future d uh, duration temporary recommendation that he be closely monitored and referred back for medical checking in one week facts are as follows i saw private patterson today who attended sickbay during that visit i observed signs of severe distress consistent with the evidence of panic i observed in the uh, in the same soldier during uh, his watch duty earlier this week i requested patterson see, uh, see me today as i believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories in the past he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms of appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims that uh, he claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. Private Patterson is a fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no medical conditions and it is uh, and an exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of the meet of our meeting and tests for speech, reactions, memory and decision making all appear normal. Clear case of COSR. I don't know what COSR is supposed to be. 
All right, let's check this dude's wow. body out. Jesus. He did not age well. I guess technically he did age pretty good. If you think about it, he still has hair and skin. I thought Joe was supposed to be in here. Sorry, I had to itch my ear. It was itchy. I'm also going to have some beer. Wait, did I just come out to go, uh, I don't know which way I was supposed to go, but I guess it's in here. I'm not dropping down just yet. Nope, never mind, I am. <laughs> down we go. Come take a look. Look, down there. I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Shit. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait. <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. seen clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable. And that explains the, the weapon recreates. Maybe it's still and here. why they and wanted to keep those bodies the way they did. Paranoia, hallucinations. That was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know. It seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. But the question is, is why is this ship still floating here without being investigated? Like, there's no way they didn't know that the ship was here. It doesn't just disappear for that long and nobody go search for it. It's been 70 years. Of course they've had people flying around looking for this thing. Why wouldn't they? You ever wonder what would have happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead? Shut up. Is it, is it me or do some people don't understand facts? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people that don't understand facts, but what brings that on? <laughs> I think I hear the generator, but I also don't know. Oh, here we go. I found it. Oh, thank God. And it's working. Yep, this is Just it, a all theory. right. A game Just throw theory. the switch and let's get back upstairs. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up. <sighs> listen, listen, we're back. Can you read me? Do you hear me? Are you hearing us? Over. Please state your situation. Over. We've been kidnapped. All of us. And there are things mm, trying I see what to kill us on the ship. People are just... Over. Too too stuck in their ways to really change in all honesty. Please say what side of the vessel you're on. Over. Hey. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, we're on this. Uh, it's an old freighter. It's like huge and abandoned. Help is on the way. Okay. Come on. Work, you piece of shit. Shouldn't I be able to pop that thing back on and off? I guess, theoretically, I wouldn't know that that's happening. 
Game Theorist YouTube channel. I I I, I remember it. it. It's that's why I like the reference. Hey, oh, what? Look at this. The rebreather. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. Yeah, still people works. still don't uh, are stuck in their ways. They just choose to be be right long. instead of actually Worth looking at fact this. instead of opinion. It's kind of it's annoying. It's just gonna slow us down. People think their opinions are facts. Uh. Uh. Fuck it. I'll leave it. Not worth the risk. <sighs> I linked them to the site. I was like, you know, I'm done. I can't. <laughs> that sucks. What is happening here? Tu dis n'importe quoi Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde He's beating up his own friend. Oh my god, how did he die? Wait, what the hell? That... That's the guy I drowned in the hole before. Distributor cap. It's kind of more like an interactive kind of game. It's more quick time events and story based than anything. It's kind of like Intel Dawn was, but so far it's pretty good. Oh, he just got a big whiff of that gas. Hell yeah. Uh, let's examine everything first, because I don't think we're timed on that. Okay, FAO Corporal Stephen Harding, USAM Military Base. Corporal Harding, the shipment of caskets unloaded earlier are specialized cargo that must be treated with the utmost sensitivity. The contents are human bodies, U.S. Army soldiers that have undergone... I done? What the hell? I didn't realize it was going to be timed. Probably not even close to that one. It's it's just until dawn. That that that's pretty much it. What's the problem with sharing all that gold? Eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deep. Oh God, not again! You can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control, and I am the one that says who goes, and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Yeah, if it's anything like this, it's gotta be good. Let's see what he does. Just stay out of sight. Let's see what he does. Ah. Oh no, not again. Among Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land. And come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine. And now I'm the one who gets to splash. Me! With my big fucking armor! No, I 
fucked it up. Fuck. Yeah, I've never played it either, but uh, it's made by the same people that made this. Holy fuck, lock it! Is this gonna hold? Or do we need to start running again? We're good. We're, we're now. Whew. <sighs> Tapping A has never felt more intense. Uh oh. None of you go on changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Just... Put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ha! Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't break the mist! What mist, man? You've... You must have seen it! It's everywhere! Yellow creeping everywhere! It's inside now! Inside with us! Now! Please, just calm down! Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? I haven't breathed any weird mist. Please, I promise. It's the mist that makes you hallucinate. Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It makes you it's think that everybody is a weird monster. I can feel it. Dude, there is no mist. <gasps> oh. ah! What? No! That was going to trigger no! that? You've got to be kidding me. Well, not everybody's making it out of this one. Can I restart checkpoint? <laughs> Damn it, no! Uh, how did that trigger him? Maybe I was supposed to ask him questions that made him think. I don't know. You never know with people that are crazy. They'll just pull the trigger. So she's going to stay dead. At least I still have majority of people left. <laughs> the fact that half, or all of them survived like four hours is tens it up as it is. Grab the gun. Shoot him. This way, I guess. Oh, come on! It's like that fucking movie with the ship and the Shit, water. Shit, I should have gotten the fucking dance. air rebreather. Damn oh it. damn it, I've killed two Can I get people. A stunt double at least? Oh man. They're all going to die at this point. I, I feel like I've gotten too lucky. I guess my thought process was I saw him shoot himself in the head. So what if he was shooting himself in the head because nobody would believe him about the mist and he got frustrated and pow there he goes right i don't know i don't know it's it's weird but you'll see it it's like an, a like a yeah, like right in the back in like room, which can only you can see it like floating thing. on the floor there i've been in here way too long yeah see like where he's hey. running that's where there's mist it's Did like a yellowy there? mist that is what's known as manchurian gold it is a hallucinogenic drug that causes people to freak out. We gotta go make sure everyone's okay. Shit! Well, what's our play? You're gonna stay here with the radio. Well, his sister's I'll dead. I'll go after <laughs> What if something happens to you? I'm a big boy. This is my mess, and I'll clean it up. 
I'll be standing by with radio. Good luck down there. Fuck. Oh, well, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, it's like all over the ship. It's a drug that got let out by accident. And everybody started freaking out and killing each other. of Brad. See, now the, the hallucinogenics is kicking in. Now he's freaking out. Alright, th that limits me to this way. seeing anything of interest anymore. Oh, there's something. What pray tell is this? Okay, another internal memorandum. To all field officers, the scale of our search and recovery missions across the area have yielded results far greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is a now a shortage of adult caskets. <laughs> if you will locate the remains of any missing persons at the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. Oh boy. So that's why there's the small casket in the fucking holding bay. Okay, and then that explains why there's two skulls in the one. It wasn't that it wasn't human, it's just that they could- Oh shit! Oh my god, you again. <sighs> god damn. How the hell big is this place? Well, we've been here before. We've been here as Brad. And this is where the beginning of the game was. Attack him. Well, that was the weakest fight I've ever seen. Especially the e eh, e. Eh. Wait, what is he doing? Really? So you think that's the best solution here? Run. My God. come from 
Oh, adventure. Oh, there's so much of it. Oh, last second. alive still watch him reach for it he's going for it he's gonna be fine he doesn't need his legs he's gonna cut himself in half and start crawling for us no he's he's dead <laughs> he died oof that was an oof i was so close to having everyone live disappointing Oh, here we go. <sighs> so close. Let's try it. Not bad for a first playthrough. Wasn't expecting that. Pretty good. Uh. Oh, it's still going. I should have been there. Did she die? You were there. You were right next Maybe to me. Maybe I could have done something. Maybe it could have been me. You, what, what? you were right next to her. She got shot in the head. I don't know if it should have been. Or were you not actually there? Huh? What the hell happened? <laughs> what was that? Such a weird ending. It should have been there. You were there. You watched it happen. You went... <gasps> no! Not bad, not bad at all. I'll take that as a pretty good, uh, a pretty good start to what I think is going to be a decent series. Ugh. Let's see what he has to say about this. That's it. Game over. 
You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Okay. <clears throat> Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Not if people don't buy your game. Keep that in mind. <laughs> it wasn't inevitable that I was going to buy it, but hey. Won't you spare are. me over till another year? Won't you spare me over till another Gotta dodge this bullet. Won't you spare me you can, over you can stop now. Year. Stop your singing. Won't you spare me over till another I mean, that wasn't so bad. I, I would say that's probably, what, four out of the five people survived? So 80%? That's a B plus. Yeah. I win. It's been, I win. Uh. <clears throat> oh, there's more. Is he gonna wake up? He did wake up. Oh, what? So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. Whoa, what the hell is this? Well, they didn't get the memo. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I just saw someone. Oh, dance. what? Whoever it was, they're gone. Okay. Very good. Who's there? I fashioned her with my own hand. <laughs> What Silent Hills ass shit is this? Twenty twenty, eh? Did you plan that out before or after coronavirus? Cause twenty twenty is almost uh it's more than halfway done. It's unless little hope's out and we just don't know it. That's kinda disappointing. Damn, okay, alright. I'm actually a little pumped for a little, uh, little help. That looks dope. Alright, well that was great. Um, I'll be back in about 15 minutes with some Warzone. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys then. Love you guys.